Nations capital, Canberra, Manuka Oval, and we have the West Coast Eagles. Well, it could be their swan song. They're playing for their lives here against the Kangaroos. They win the West Coast Eagles and they enter the finals. They take to the field now, and a good afternoon to Jared Healy. Good afternoon, Dermot. Yeah, magnificent day here at Manuka, and uh, this should be a fantastic game. As you said, the solution, very simple, and a bit of incentive for the Kangaroos as well, because if they win, and win by enough, around 10 to 12 points, then they will stay in fifth position and uh, that means that they won't have to travel through the final series. Uh, if you're in fifth or eighth then you keep winning, you stay at home and that is significant in a very even year. Simple equation, isn't it? As you said, Jared, the West Coast win, they go in. The Kangaroos win, Geelong stay in. But the West Coast, they have the chance to play AFL finals once again. And they started off very well this year, but they have tapered off in recent weeks. They have lost their last four games, three of them at Subiaco. So it's going to be an uphill push, a real battle for them to win out of their own state. Yeah, they've just lost their way somewhat. Uh, it would be inconceivable that they missed the eight, but uh, that's the position they've got themselves in. As we see the Kangaroos coming to the ground, and uh, this is the fairy tale story of the season. Their performance uh, has been quite incredible. Start of the year amidst controversy and have just won the hearts of every neutral supporter right throughout the year. Absolutely. You have a look at them there. They've won five games up here and only lost one at Manuka. So, and that was against the. Collingwood footy team here in round 22 last year when the Kangaroos couldn't make the finals and nobody really had a dip. I was speaking to Glenn Archer before, he said they were a bit flat. So, look, they do like playing here, the Kangaroos. He's here at Canberra Manuka Oval as respective captains Simpson and his counterpart Benny Cousins who wins the toss and will kick to the left-hand side of screen. Let's go down into the middle with Anthony Miffin. Yeah, thanks, Derm, and I uh, thought we'd better do the uh, cricket thing with the cricket season nearly upon us and uh, check the old key into the pitch because it's pretty hard and fast out here. It is one of those grounds that does have the, uh, the cricket pitch in the middle and it's pretty, uh, pretty tough, as you'll see. I'll put that key in. needs a bit of force to go in and down into the turf, so I reckon you might see a bit of skin off the knees and a few blood rules. The umpires will be keeping a pretty careful eye on things there. Uh, no wind to speak of. Beautiful day, 18 degrees. We've got down to the big donut overnight in Canberra, but uh, lovely day and uh, we should see some pretty fast and furious footy. West Coast certainly looking forward to these conditions. I know that for a fact. The boys are very pumped up out here. Thanks, Smitho. And if you're going to say it on uh, the Nine Network, you're so hard and fast. Oh. <laughs> a good afternoon to Dwayne Russell. It's a pleasure to be here because everything is on the line for them. And it's on the line for that man as well, Andrew McDougall, playing his first game this afternoon for the West Coast Eagles, a former Australian underage player who Good size. had some time against Ireland and the Eagles first draft pick in 2000 they took him as the number five overall but a big day for the West Coast Eagles players this afternoon to play their way into the eight. The Jack Fingleton scoreboard recognize that one Jared you would have played in front of that many many times in your days in the uh, red and the blue with the Melbourne Footy Club that's the old MCG scoreboard. Yeah. Magnificent piece of trivia do it? Yes it, uh, it is a great old scoreboard and it's got a pretty good uh, position here and uh, speaking of great there's one maybe uh, in his last year who knows with Mickey Martin but uh, it's going to be a nice old turret battle down in the goal square. I wouldn't think that would worry Troy Wilson all that much he's one bloke who'd look at Mick and sort of smile. Look at the arms <laughs> on Troy Wilson he is a huge <laughs> individual. He is a big unit. So we're about to get underway. The umpires, Andrew Coates, Hayden Kennedy, and Kieran Nichols had a good bounce to start. Cox in the ruck against Porter. Phil Matera, the first takeaway to half forward. Ball spoiled from Gardner. Sinclair in good form. Grant, Colbert, boundary line, and a push. So a free kick to Lee Colbert when could well have given a free kick away for it deliberate. Glenn Jakovic has picked up uh, Digby Morell and Morell's taking him straight to the goal square. Colbert Long, Porter and Cox fly from four deep. Ball knocked down. Judd couldn't get it away. Ball stolen. Hacked to half forward by Cochran. Good handball. Petri inside 50. Harvey caught. Wooden. From half back for the Eagles. Has a bounce. It's a very wide arena here at Monica. And he spears it all the way wide. Out of play. Notice Cochran picking up Judd. It's an amazing performance by Chris Judd to be tagged, to be isolated as a key midfielder in your first year. Sings his praises and uh, really just 
I guess, establishes what status he's already achieved in the game. Porter and Cox in the ruck. Ball towards Blakey. Threads his way through traffic nicely to Sinclair. Handball smothered on the way to Teague. Judd again. Man, you're talking about, Jared. Peter Matera. Inside 50 and long almost, but just over the head of McDougal. Still a chance over the ball. Had it stolen from him. What picked up, gave it away. Little handball out. Big chance here for the West Coast Eagles. Wooden from 48 metres out. Wobbles it. Goldwood wide are behind. We saw Troy Wilson there. A lot of full forwards with a bit of uh, toe about them and a little bit of flexibility would have been able to lean that across the body and take a snap on goal but he's a big unit you want to get out of the way because he's on railway tracks and if you're in on those railway tracks you get steamrolled but he wasn't able to really turn around and go back to goals then make peace finds Sinclair Drew Banfield running with David King Sinclair takes them on a couple of bounces to set a half back wobbles it towards half forward mark taken by Corey Jones Good pressure, but not quite enough pressure from Adam Hunter. Jones, long, the lead, and a brilliant mark in the end to Petri. Held it long enough, and he's against one of the best in the game as well, Ashley McIntosh. Good stretch, wasn't it? We'll have a look at this from behind the goals here. And his feet come from under him. I don't think that ever touched the ground, did it? Bounced off his own hand. Nah, it hit the deck, but Dumpy's gone with it. Kangaroos without their two main goal kickers for the season this afternoon. Rocker has kicked 49, Byron Pickett 38. Both not playing. So they'll need Petri to stand up. The kid of enormous talent and plenty of potential. As always, Dennis Pagan makes his talent work hard to establish themselves in the senior list. But this is a big uh, chance for him. And he might start well. Drifts right and he thinks he's got it through. Only a behind. Pretty excited for a behind. celebration, yes. <laughs> Enthusiasm of youth. Uh, nicely put, too. McIntosh from fullback as we have another look from a better angle. And I reckon, he's done, a, I reckon he's done a blighty. I think he thought he kicked the goal. <laughs> blighty grew up in a town where they paint. The behind posts red though so in afl football they're all white so the confusion perhaps but well he's missed it by two meters you can't possibly think you're going to con the umpire tried to talk the umpire into it dan kirk couldn't take the colica it was couldn't take the mark now chance for jakovic towards the outer side wing ball rolls and we'll get a ball in jakovic Playing game 248 this afternoon. And as you identified, Jared, Digby Morell takes him to the goal square basically because he's the third best player in the league at rebounding the ball outside of uh, defensive 50. So he gets plenty of it and gets it in dangerous positions in the back line. Simpson's kick was half smothered, as was Rawlings. High kick towards half forward. Eludes a couple, but not Sinclair. Mopping up in defence again as he's done for the last few weeks. Harvey, make peace. Had a big year, make peace. He's one of the key defenders premier de small defenders in the competition now Sinclair again wide ball from him Blakey at five possessions already just Sinclair Blakey spears the ball to half forward and another mark against McIntosh taken by Petri too far out to score this time goes with the pass a little wide to Morell Jakovic with him good battle ball toe poked toward the boundary by a wooden and we'll get a ball in let's take another look at uh, Drew Petrie there's been another theory put forward that maybe she's great follow through that yeah. maybe he was putting his hands up immediately to signal the zone defense oh, back into play will continue to give you options there <laughs> <laughs> see which one finally is the correct one Multiple Jakovic choice. dives on we've got a pile in well he's got interesting bloodstock to give himself some influence and thoughts on how to play football his uncle is rotten ronnie andrews of essendon oh, fame yeah well he's in the zone there <laughs> bounce <laughs> cox over the top of porter through traffic nicely casey green rolling ball attacking 50 and petrie thumps it toward the boundary line and we'll get another ball in 
West Coast Eagles, who've lost their last four games, have only won one game this year away from home, needing to win this afternoon. Burton, Motlop, Smith and Harding. One of their major goal kickers for this year, starting on the bench. Porter in the ruck, free kick found, and it will go to Porter against Cox, who none too impressed. From outside, 50. Porter starts it right, brings it back. That's enough for Petri to celebrate, but Porter doesn't. And some inaccuracy early. Let's have a look uh, to see this free. I think the umpire's looking for the grapple. But, geez, there wasn't a hell of a lot in it. McIntosh, the trademark knee brace, socks down. Straight down the middle of the ground to Wooden, who had wooden hands, fumbled it on 50. Tries to get the handball out. Kerr, slick to Cousins. Wide ball, Blakey mops up. Good pressure by Simpson there just to force the turnover. Blakey about to pump them back inside 50. It's a high ball and over the top. A good mark's been taken by the man back into the lineup this afternoon, David King. And his inclusion will be a big fill up. Well, he basically uh, didn't even have to work for that goal there. He sat at full forward for the kick in and watched the ball go away and hoped that somebody would get the turnover. Just waited for it to come back in and he's moved, well, I reckon, about eight metres from the time uh, he took up his position in the zone to mark that ball. Brilliant goal kicker on the run. Kicked one gem here to win the game earlier this year. And he drives that through the opening goal of the afternoon to the Roos. Well, it seems to have been a bit of a lacklustre to start. Both clubs uh, feeling their way. Maybe it's the foreign environment for the West Coast Eagles, but the Kangaroos, they've gone forward a few times. I think their coach would be a little bit more uh, at ease than John Warsfold just at the moment. Kangaroos early leaders. They have a 5-1 record here at Manuka. They have won five of their six matches here. Kerr with the takeaway for the Eagles from the middle. Wide. Race on. Braun and Harvey. Ball bounces unkindly for Braun. Harvey hacks it, but it's stolen again by Cousins. Inside 50. Wide ball. Wilson. Did he have enough of it? No. Just ducked his head at the last moment, uh, Mr. Wilson. He had it all and took his eye off it. Been watching a bit of television, Jared. Wilson normally keeps his head just ducked a little behind the fence. Ball in. <laughs> He'll get the take away through traffic. Judd spins around, kicks the ball, goal! And he's gone through. Now, it's a good goal. It's a, a definitely a good goal. But one thing to watch for there on the replay, Chris Judd comes in. He's got opportunity to lay the ball off his left foot at goals. Watch him here. You see the split happen, and he gets onto it with pace. That's the blistering thing. He can snap there, but he recognises the left foot isn't strong enough. And he actually turns back into traffic, prefers the heat on the right foot rather than running into space on the left. Good goal. It's a good matchups in the middle. We we'll see here uh, Cochran with Judd. Robinson has uh, been in good form, and he's on Kerr. And Shannon Grant and Cousins are going head to head. Great player, Judd. Sensational first year of football. Ball in dispute, middle of the ground. No one can get a decisive possession now. Cox will. Wide ball. Sinclair getting back. Can't trap it. Through traffic with a handball by Braun. Peter Matera. And he puts it through. The West Coast Eagles in front. Well, Peter Matera has been starting the bounces behind the square in defence. And his man Teague is uh, doing similarly at the other end. Now, I'm not sure if that was the case at that bounce. We may just be able to pick it up uh, shortly. But Peter Matera was in on the burst and he doesn't often miss these. It was a mongrel kick, but he got it through. Somewhat of a fairground crowd 
in at Monica this afternoon. Shades of Carrara about it for those who saw a bit of football up there from the middle. Kerr nicely sold the dummy, gave the handball away eventually to Banfield. Kick smothered by Simpson. Caught. Stolen back by Banfield. Nice bit of pilfering to half forward. Sinclair. No, it's T. If you're well, well equipped to describe that today after getting your wallet lifted out of the car. Last time I go for a run in the nation's capital, Wilson has it. Nick Martin shaking his head. It wasn't a great kick. Cross goal. They've got to be pinpoint. And that one uh, hit the wrong man. First mark for the Eagles, too. The Kangaroos have taken uh, double figures with marks. They've chipped it around a little bit better. Haven't had the great return for it. But this is the first mark awarded to the Eagles. Look, almost Wilson. 12 minutes to get there. Lining up to extend the lead. Brings it back. Troy Wilson picked 40 goals last year on the board this afternoon. Getting some good uh, takeaway options out of the middle now. Kerr with a little bit of pace there. Got it out to Banfield who had to, well, he had to work for it twice, didn't he? But uh, they got the ball going that way. And Wilson's ended up on the end of a bit of traffic. Eagles out to a handy break, early stage, first term. Porter against Cox in the ruck. And as we so often do, we'll get a secondary bounce. Kangaroos statistics saying that the West Coast Eagles have them in a vulnerable state early. Cox and Porter side by side in the ruck. Porter knocks down. Chance for Simpson. Wobbly ball to half forward. Harvey about to pounce. Toe poked it to his own advantage. Got pushed over. Few in the crowd caught for a free. They didn't get it. Good opportunity for a, a slick handball wide. And the one-two from Casey Green. Wobbly kick to half forward. And Teague gets in the way. Hum couldn't stop him from taking the mark. Teague from centre half back. High. Porter got there, couldn't complete it. Dan Kerr, wobbly kick. Peter Matera, nice knock on. Chance for McDougal. The first gamer, beautifully through Teague. Long kick, Freeman inside 50. And it's Phillip. Well, Philip Matera has just got separated from his opponent, Troy Makepeace, who came up to the ball. And by the time that Philip Matera marked that ball, Makepeace would have been roughly 70 metres away. Just loses him in the traffic total here. But that bloke there who just chipped the ball out. There's, there's Makepeace there going to the contest. And his opponent just backdoors him, runs backward at 100 miles an hour to get into this space. And there he is. But the bloke who's doing the damage around the ball at the moment is young Daniel Kerr. He's finding uh, a bit of it and using his pace at four or five possessions, five possessions to be exact. We mentioned earlier that Jess Sinclair had a great start to the match, had five possessions, and the Eagles have uh, been playing Matera across the half-back line loose. Since they manned him up, he's kicked a goal. Sinclair's dropped out of it, and the Eagles have kicked their four. Yes, the Kangaroos, the first goal of the game. Eagles four since then. Once again, the goal kicker gets on the end of it, Philip. Half caught by Makepeace. Shrug the tackle. Wooden. Chance to put the West Coast back inside 50. The leads come. High kick toward the top of the square. Gardner got hand on the ball. Peter nearly had his turn. Sinclair chopped it off. Grant. Ball eludes him. Martin. Shrugs an attempt to tackle. Sinclair. Grant. They get out of trouble. Morell comes hard, ball to the back of the pack. Race on Jakovic. Chased by David King and a good chase too. Handball to Petri. Handball back to David King. Drop part on the move. Post. Deserved better. That was a great individual effort by David King. His chase and tackle on Jakovic went unrewarded, unfortunately. And Petri twice now has laid off with quick hands. He's uh, quite impressive. 
And Dennis Pagan obviously worried about a little bit of the pace of the Eagles around the midfield through Kerr and the likes of his teammates have put Harding onto the wing and Rawling comes from the field. Braun to Wooden to Braun. Halfback, spearing ball over the head of McDougal. New opponent for Matera. Peter, by make peace, so he's had both brothers now. <laughs> and the ball out of play in front of Cochrane and Judd. Jess Sinclair's gone down to brother Phil. What a great family of brothers, the Matera boys, all three of them. Back into play. Make peace, kick half smothered. Judd caught. No one can break free, we'll get another bounce. They're getting one free here. You see Simpson standing next to both bent over next to Ben Cousins. But a lot of the time, Cousins is, uh, sorry, we have uh, Sinclair trying to go over and tag Kerr, which is leaving one of those two uh, West Coast Eagle boys free. Robin's got it to Teague, who got it to half forward. Might be stolen by Hunter. Got it out in Wooden's direction. Knocks it to Banfield. From the wing towards half forward. Big fly by Gardner. Got a hand to it. Still competitive. Cochran will seek the sanctuary of the boundary line and will get another ball in. Just winning around the ball at the moment. The West Coast Eagles winning the contest. They won by 49 points when the two teams met at Subiaco in round seven. Space out the back of this one if they flick it out there. Taken out of the end nicely by McDougall. Can he pick it up, Cousins? He can. Half court. Oh, shrugs the ball and oh. kicks the best of the afternoon. Once again, Joe. We had Simpson trailing in along behind Ben Cousins and had a, it was close enough. You watch it here, he's close enough to touch him right there. Yet Cousins still has the pace to get away totally from him in the end. Nice assistance there by Mr. Wilson as well. And Dean Cox also. Good grab out of the ruck. He's a developing ruckman. They've got plenty of talent, tall timber down at the West Coast. Some danger signs for the Roos early. Yeah, they need a real lift at uh, ground level. Harvey, we know, is carrying a shoulder, but uh, just one kick at the moment. Shannon Grant needs to find some ball, as, as does Adam Simpson. Well, Simpson thumped it to half forward. Colica tries to mop it up, King. Half-legged. Umpire waited. Did he give a free kick to him? Yes. Delayed it slightly, just to make him work for it. David King runs to 55. Long drop, punt. Just wide. Only a behind. One goal, two for Kingy. 21 point lead to the West Coast Eagles. Eight minutes remaining. Opening term. McIntosh to bring the ball back into play. Drives it long, looking for Jakovic, his old partner in crime. Couldn't quite bring the mark in. And we'll get a ball in. Interesting at the zone defence there, Dermot. Uh, the Kangaroos are uh, playing the zone, but man on man, oh, sorry, uh, Adam Simpson is not letting Brent, um, Cousins, Ben Cousins go away. He's playing man on man in the zone. Burton to do the ruck work this time against Cox, the two tallest AFL players currently listed. Colica. Burton, in fact, the tallest ever. Peter Matera beaten by it. Make peace. Caught. Big hip and shoulder. Well played by Kerr. Cousins the crumb. Not such a good handball by Cousins' standards, but he mops it up nicely. Banfield. Kick. Inside 50. The lead comes. The two Matera boys. They waited for each other. Some courtesy in the Matera household. Blakey. Outside 50. Banfield crunched. Cousins. Half caught by King. Mark taken. Braun. He's at ground level, they're getting absolutely trounced at the moment, the Kangaroos. The, the real cream of the West Coast Eagles has risen. Toward Gardner, off his hand. Little hack toward the boundary line. Banfield might get there first. Can't keep it alive. And we'll get a ball in. They are getting murdered, aren't they? Yep, yeah, they are. And they're making some changes for you, probably the first time this year. Makepeace is uh, getting taken from the ground because he's been chopped up. They almost be inclined to go with Robbins on to Cousins now. Just to, I mean, Simpson finds plenty of the ball, but he's just giving too much latitude. And Ben Cousins is doing the damage. Teague to Colbert to the boundary. 
former Geelong captain finding the line. It was his only option. And there's make peace. Trying to make peace with the coach after his first 10 minutes. Dennis Pagan. Some kind words. Back into play. Burton slapped it down. Ball stolen by Judd Hamble to Braun. Cochran, Braun, ball, Braun. Stolen again by Judd. He started the movement. He might finish it. Just misses. Not just their ability to win at ground level, Jared, but they are just running away from the kangaroos at the stoppages. Their pace is just chopping them up. They've just got to get a hold of a few of those, these fellows. Harvey White trying to work the ball out of the fence. King, good pass to Colbert. 50 metre pass to Colbert on the move. Grant punched away from him by Colica, who slips at the inopportune time. Motlock on the wing. Hemmed in. Gets out of the corral. Kicks to half forward. Giant fly by Petri. Couldn't bring the mark down. Robbins. Sinclair. Inside 50. West Coast have the numbers. Nice piece of movement and a shot at goal. Corey Jones, you're a genius. Well, it was against the flow of play and a most important goal. Motlop had just come onto the ground, so uh, he's showing his coach that he wants to stay there. Diggers and Petri both went for the flight. And Jess Sinclair pushing himself up into the action. But in the end, it was a man just described as a genius who has uh, delivered the first goal for them for some time. Let's take a look at the Corey Jones goal again. Good spoil. He looked totally out of the contest there. And the quick kick on took on two big fellows. But they got the ball forward there. Just pretty well direct footy. And it's long kicking, not utilising the pace. The West Coast Eagles, on the other hand, they're just breaking the Kangaroos apart. And centre bounce breaks and clearances everywhere. 12-5 in favour of the Eagles. Here's another one coming up. Burton got to Simpson, but Judd stole it, got the clearance. Half forward, Peter Matera. The West Coast still double the Kangaroos score. Colbert over Gardner. Motlop. Gardner still. Banfield for a second. Now Robbins. And in the end, it was Braun who got it to Cousins. Good, hard, close-in football at the moment. Cousins' kick not so good. King. Good opportunity here for the Kangaroos. King runs away from Kolika, who gets a nice bump. High kick towards the top of the square. Jakovic, solid bump, good fist. Knocks it down to Harding. One way, then the other. Snaps around the body. And he misses. And he has missed a few times this year. 28 goals, 28 on Lee Harding's slate. Let's go down to Anthony Mithin. That's a big injury. Yeah, it looks like uh, certainly a joint. Don't know whether it's a knee or an ankle to Cox at the moment. Just straight up into the room to have treatment. Haynes onto the ground. Harvey onto the ball, kicks the goal. Great work, David King. It was a brilliant hand, handball. And out from nowhere, they have just turned this game back into a contest. Bomber Thompson, I'm sure, will be uh, cheering down in Geelong <laughs> because he is either going to be the big winner or the big loser out of this result. But uh, two quick goals from nowhere. Have a look at it uh, unfold. McIntosh, lackadaisical kick, doesn't find the target, and great hands from David King. Geelong players and their coach, Mark Thompson, watching this game together this afternoon. Got Mad Monday on a hold? Yes. It's going to be Mad Sunday if they miss out beforehand. Coach would be pretty mad. From the takeaway, Judd, handball, but missed the target. Simpson to half forward. Almost, oh, that's a brilliant mark. Jones, who kicked the goal to start this drive by the Kangaroos late in this opening term, drives and towards full forward. Oh, Burrell flies. Burton crumbs. Unorthodox kind of guy to crumb but he did it pretty well there'll be a bounce at the top of the goal square they're so dangerous in this spot the kangaroos because they're very good at clearances almost burton still a chance the big man tackle late on mcintosh and umpire coates has decided that the ball up is the best option yeah they're very good at clearances but the west coast eagles have taken that up to them 
Already 13 5 in favour of the West Coast Eagles. Couple of shepherds in the ruck, and it'll be a kangaroo free. Well, he's pretty red hot on this today, umpire Coates. Showed his intention early with that one in the ruck, and he was right beside it. We'll take another look at it shortly, but it's going to be a costly one. Here we go. Look for the shepherd, and there it was. Good decision. And that was because Burton wasn't the ruckman going for the ball. It was Petri, who was the designated ruckman. Burton was walking away from the contest, so they shepherded a man who they thought wasn't going to do the ruck work, and he puts it through. The kangaroos are back. Three kicks, four zip in favour of the Kangaroos in this first quarter. You're going to have to explain that one all to me again, Jared. I've missed it. Well, you see here that uh, Petri, he was the nominated ruckman, according to the umpire. Spider Burton was matched up against McIntosh, who went for the ruck, but he didn't go for it. Surely that only applies in the centre bounce with the white one line, the line across there. It's Dwayne's theory, he can explain it. Another look at this ruck contest. Petri goes for the ball, gets shepherded by McIntosh, so the ruckman that's going for it okay. got shepherded away. Burton was walking away from the contest. I thought it only applied to the centre bounce where there was the uh, the white line dividing the two sides to come at it. Well, but I think if there's only there one guy going there, for yep. the ball. Yeah, there was a shepherd. He obviously is the ruck, and it's back to a three-point game. 32 plays, 29. Seven minutes at a time on. Opening term. Robbins, good takeaway again for the Roos. High flight, Petri couldn't bring it down. Grant, slick hands, King, maybe this time. No. Just going back to the Russell theory, it's, I mean, Spider Burton is the ruckman. He was there at the contest. It may well be that he just elected not to go for it. I think it needs a bit of further exploration, that one, Dermot. Yes, I agree with that. What about Kingy? One goal, three so far. He's almost kicked two goals. Ball wide. Mark taken by Kane Munro. They've lost their run over the last seven or eight minutes, the West Coast Eagles. Kane Munro's 11th game, his second for the year. The inclusion late into this lineup with Glass not taking his place. Wooden. Braun's got some space. Uses it with a bounce. Thinks about now, has a second. Drop oh, punt wow. is towards Porter. Good punch away by Peter Matera. Robbins to Sinclair. From defensive 50, under it, rising. Does complete the mark, David Haynes. Former Geelong Falcon, long kick towards full forward. Over the oh, top, God. brilliant Mark Wilson. He just ran away from Mick Martin too easily then. He's actually, as we look at it right there, he came up the centre of the ground, stopped, did a U-turn, and Mick took about five paces to stop behind him and come back. And they were shoulder and shoulder on the lead out. But once you can turn Mick around and go the other way, he's going to struggle. And Wilson did it on that occasion. Clever play. Strange thing to make your AFL debut at the age of 29. But Wilson has done that. Has kicked one. And Wilson now has two. It's a big man. He's got a huge chest, and it's been an exciting story. A real, uh, a real fairy tale in some respects. A lot of criticism when he was first drafted by Ken Judge, but he's proved he's been certainly worth the experiment. That is a gutsy fly. Because yeah, he doesn't jump goal. real high, does he? I he mean, just he just threw he, himself into the pack. He planes into it. <laughs> he just takes anything with him. But Mick not even in screen there. And Mick's trying to rough him up. And he's... He doesn't even worry about it. I'll tell you what, if you make him angry, Mick will know. Well, Mick's a bit grumpy. He turns 34 today. So, age catching up with him, perhaps. Bounce. Burton in the ruck. Knocks down. Simpson almost, Robbins, Blakey, Sinclair. Wobbly ball, King. Ninth possession coming up for King. He's been very busy. Make peace back on. Oh, 50. 50 metre penalty. King drew that, didn't he? I mean, he looked to feign out to come out to this side, 
And I think it was Daniel Kerr on the mark, just encroached and didn't really want him to play on. Just held onto the ball long enough that Kerr got a bit eager. And now he's within goal kicking distance. Well and truly he'll kick it post height. One goal through to Kingy. Watch him here. Kerr just behind the white line there. Kingy keeps yelling at him, get back. Should be two goals three after this attempt. Has been lively. And he can cut the margin back to two points in the shadows of quarter time. Well, David King, nine possessions there. Jess Sinclair, 11 off the back flank, who's been, well, he's had to mix it up a little bit out of the back line. He's worked himself into a free man role again, Jess Sinclair. But Kingy, half forward flank, goal square sometimes. And for the West Coast Eagles, Judd and Cousins, seven apiece. But nothing in the last seven or eight minutes for both of those two. So they've lost their drive around the middle in the latter part of this quarter. And they've lost their ability to use pace around the centre square, the West Coast Eagles. Can they find it again? Important one and a half minutes coming up before quarter time. Take away, Kerr trying to make amends, wobbles it inside, 50. And the mark taken... Just over the back of the pack nicely by David Haynes. So important, isn't it? I mean, that you actually don't allow a free man in defence. Because if you get the quick kick out of the centre like that, the centre bounce break, it means that you have a contest wherever the ball goes. Whereas if you allow the Kangaroos to play one in defence, they just mop that up. Chance to restore the eight-point buffer. Seconds ticking by. And that's a shocker. Let off for the Roos. That was a, it. was a true shake. What a mm. shambles of a kick. Harvey. Just milking the clock slightly to Teague. You wouldn't think the Kangaroos could put another score on the board before quarter time, but they could give a score to the West Coast. Well, the safety is straight down the line. Spider Burton occupying the top of your picture there. Big pack of players fly. Jones nearly took it. And we'll get a bounce. Anthony Mithens on the boundary. Just to check on Dean Cox, it is an ankle injury, so some minor good news there. It's not a knee, but uh, he's going to struggle to get back out there. Bounce. Burton knocks down Colbert. Hamill to King. To Robbins. No mark taken on the wing. So a seesawing first term. The lead at one stage got out to 22 points for the West Coast Eagles. But that, at the first change, has been cut back to three, courtesy of some handiwork from David King. Quarter time here at Monica. The Kangaroos, 5-6-36. West Coast Eagles, 6-3. 39. Ground level now and Anthony Mithen. Yeah, thanks, Derm. Dean Cox still in the hands of trainers up in the rooms and I don't think we'll see much more of him with that ankle injury. Dennis Pagan spent the whole time with his players out there, didn't allow the assistant coaches an address at any stage and was pretty fired up. He was just disappointed by the sound of it with uh, their lack of decisiveness, wants them hard at it, make a decision and go for it rather than sitting back and waiting for it to happen. So they were fighting words from Dennis Pagan. Interesting to see how they come out in the early stage of this second term. The numbers tell the story though uh, midway through when the West Coast had their lead loose gets were 15 to 7 at the end of the term it finished up 15 to 18 so midway through they turned it on the kangaroos and they, they finished up uh, with a 0 11 loose ball get figure they've identified this one as a win for the Eagles not one other pair within 50 meters of these two so they're giving Troy Wilson all the forward line Mick Martin, that's got to irritate you sooner or later, surely. Yeah. Bounce to start this second term. Gardner in the ruck now. Cox started the game in the ruck for the Eagles. Take away by a wooden, but it's a wide one. Under it. Good mark taken by Kellum Chambers. Plays on. Spears the ball inside. 50. Wilson. Good punch away by Martin. Hum. Through traffic. Court. Sinclair. Modlock. Opportunity. Judd. Hold. And a free kick's been found. Hold. It's for off the ball. Here's the way Hayden Kennedy indicated it was for something around the 50 metre line. That wouldn't look like a free oh. kick to me, but uh, 
Hayden Kennedy was off the ball and he pointed back towards the middle of the ground. We'll try and pick it up from the down the ground camera. Drop punt from Chris Judd. We'll wait on the goal on part. Only a behind. You only get X amount of shots per game. Easy as that. You've got to take them. Perhaps the football gods are here and yes. didn't quite agree with that free kick either. <laughs> from the kick in, Harvey. They are up there too. Yes, don't worry them. about it. Round 22, they're keen for the finals to start. <laughs> Make peace to the wing. Ball just eluded Teague. Little handball by Jones. Big hip and shoulder on Teague, who ran on to try and get it. David Haynes put him on the deck. And we'll get a ball in on the wing. Well, the Geelong Falcons were here in the precursor here today, playing the Rams in the TAC Cup, and young David Haynes, former Geelong under-18 player. Ball back into play. Taylor, handball wide. Ball out of play in front of a group of West Coast Eagles, including Ben Cousins, whose father actually played for Geelong. They'd love to have had him under a revamp father-son rule. Harding, Porter, Smith and Cochran on the bench for the Roos. Harvey wobbles the ball towards attacking 50, just bounces in the field of play and will get a ball in. West Coast Eagles opened up a 22-point lead. That was about 15 minutes in, opening turn. Been cut back to four. Bright sunshine here at Monica. Beautiful conditions for football. A bit of early spring and Blakey pounces on the ball. Kicks toward full forward McIntosh. A lot of experience in that mark. Plays on through the back pocket. Heads toward the outer side. Wobbly ball. Good Getting there, Jones. Just turned and didn't have a lot of time to make the judgment to mark it. Did brilliantly. Robbins, one hand of the ball in front of Kerr, King. Backwards to Teague. Drop punt from Teague wide. And that's almost out of bounds on the full. Umpire giving Casey Green the benefit of the doubt. We'll have a ball in. Yes, good decision. Ruckman jostle for position. Plenty of space at the back. Ball knocked down by Gardner in opposition to Burton. Robbins inside 50. Oh, oh that's a brilliant mark taken by Taylor. Well, he's used to it. He's had physical punishment all week. <laughs> <laughs> he is a professional the way he goes about it, isn't he? Just he takes the hits, <laughs> and that is a gutsy mark. Yes. Philip Matera giving him one during the week. He probably had physical punishment long before that because Dermot Brereton was his director when he was at the Hawthorne Football Club. Braun Long. High. Peter Matera judged it best. Hamble put Kerr under pressure. Hamble Always. get a bounce just in front of Anthony Mithen. Yeah, Richard Taylor, a uh, little known fact, he's got five stitches in his lip from that one from Matera, so he meant business, Phil. Did finish second in Hawthorne's Best and Fairest Award in 1999, Richard Taylor, so... I can play. He just didn't hurt them enough going forward. That's mm. why he's found his time in the back line since. Oh, oh, I reckon that's an accidental one on the back of Jess Sinclair there. It was. Yeah. Matera and Jess Sinclair continue to jostle. The emergency umpire... Well, we nearly had to take the track set top off in the emergency umpire. Free kick to Sinclair. Well, it's got to go back to where the ball was. Yes, otherwise they've penalised the Kangaroos. And that was accidental from Matera, but it was still high. Or maybe not accidental. You may mention a Richard Taylor. It's always good to see somebody still playing league football that you actually played alongside or with, Jared. It <laughs> just makes you feel like you're still in it. Burton thumped it long, make peace. Up the down to Grant. Now King. Tackled by Green. Got the kick inside. 50 Cousins. Kerr. Chambers. Caught, but a little high. It's turning into a game that the Kangaroos are liking. It's turning into a scrap up wherever the ball is. And that will suit them. Jakovic from defensive 50. Gardner. Can't quite half volley. It's a long way down there. Kerr gets on the end of a bad handball from Robbins. Brilliant play down the wing. Sold the dummy to a couple. No one to go to. 
kicks it inside 50 towards Wilson over the head of Wilson Cousins 40 from goal hum calls for it he's ignored Cousins might go all the way kicks across the face yeah. it's a behind just can't lay a hand on him Ben Cousins when he gets the ball no one's really been able to run him down here we have a look watch the right arm and that swung around and just got him on the back of the head Harvey Blakey got to wonder whether being held though 15 meters off the ball is a free as well Sinclair long Jackovic couldn't get a hand on it Colica should mop it up just outside the defensive goal square runs away from Morell with a bit of arrogance McIntosh Cousins yeah, the key defenders for the West Coast have got the measure of their opponents. All the damage is being done by the midfield. Short pass from Casey Green. Out of side. Kick smothered. Ricochets back to Green. High kick inside 50. Good opportunity. Phillip. That's a great kick from Casey Green. Great spot up. Penetrating kick. He's, uh, he's a pretty fair player. He's only in his uh, early development, but uh, has been given a task on Shannon Grant. And that is a magnificent uh, kick inside the 50. He's this vital today, Philip Matera. They've picked such a big forward line. Their crumbing players are going to have to be on song. And this is their main one. Been somewhat of a stalemate the first seven minutes of this second term. But the stalemate's been broken. Goal to the West Coast. Well, the ability to kick, kick long and kick accurately is uh, so essential. Separates good players from ordinary players. And uh, Casey Green, if he can do this regularly, is going to be a very dangerous player. There's the, uh, the ricochet, which was pretty fortuitous for Casey. But that's a great kick. Look at it. Long, sharp, punch. And he even got the applause for that mark from his brother, Peter. Lead for the West Coast, back out to 11 points. Gardner doing the rock work against Burton, knocks down to King. Long high torpedo inside 50. McIntosh, double fist to Kerr. And the West Coast away again. One bounce, chip kick from Kerr. Almost not quite a mark in the end, just spilled by Haynes and we'll get a ball in. Anthony Mithens on the boundary. Yeah, interesting to reflect on that Peter Matera one. We don't like dobbing him in, but uh, if you go back about a month, I reckon you might find that Alistair Lynch Ooh. got a couple mm. of weeks for a similar incident on Dustin Fletcher. Back into play. You've dobbed him in. Yes, you have. That's Anthony Mithen of Geelong. Series, in fact, Victoria. Oh, and ball almost a possession. We'll get a ball in on the wing. He nearly took Anthony Mithen out then. Just down there. <laughs> Boundary up, I thought it was funny. <laughs> Digby Morell, Dermot's got an interesting spot down there in the forward pocket. Yeah. It's all about, and we'll show you surely, but it's all about just getting Glenn Mack and Glenn uh, Jakovic away from the action. Couple of fumbles now, Hum. Kerr, caught by Robbins, didn't really take possession. Hum. Nice piece of work through traffic. Blakey holds him up. Well, that had to be a free kick to Daniel Kerr. He didn't have possession. He was yeah. smart enough to just tap the ball up in the air. And he was tackled. It's almost a replay of the first quarter here. The West Coast Eagles pace around the midfield is really hurting the Kangaroos here. Half forward for the Eagles. Almost halfway through this second term. We've played 11 minutes. Burton somehow to Robbins. To half forward. Well played by McIntosh, edges his opponent out of the contest. Short pass good from Taylor, unable to mark it. Callum Chambers will get a ball in. Poor hands there, but I just get the feeling also that Ashley McIntosh is just working out Drew Petrie now on the lead and putting body on him and not letting him jump before he gets to the ball. Once again, the loose gets that telling the story. West Coast nine, Kangas four. Big pack around this ball up. King thumped it out, but it ricocheted back in. And last, we'll get another ball up. Yeah, Dwayne, the last three ball ins bounce downs have been huge packs. So both teams pushing a lot of players into the midfield here. 
Eagles try and run it away with pace. Kangaroos, quick grab, snap kick forward. Gardner got best palm on it. King after Grant had a crack at it. Robbins, caught by Kirstil, got it. King back here. Robbins, no boot on ball. Good contest at the moment between these two teams. And I think the locals would know a bit about this game. They do have rugby league here on a weekly basis, and that's what we're seeing at the present time. There's Digby Morrell with Jakovic. Right on the boundary line next to the point post, wide. And they're trying to keep all that space in front of the goal clear for an easy avenue. Well, Jakovic has been in such good form that his old coach, Michael Malthouse, named him centre-half back in his All-Australian team for the year. High kick by Cousins toward half forward. Off hands, Callum Chambers. 70 from goal. Kick smothered. A piece of work by Harvey. We'll get a ball in. About Dermot 55 metres from goal. Dermot Digby Morrell, no possessions. So I take it uh, he's there simply as the decoy. The, the decoy. Like the little plastic duck on the lake. The Matera couldn't trap it. Simpson does to Harvey. Blakey. Colbert, Teague, probably kicked it. Rawlings, <laughs> beautiful movement. Morell is actually leading for it. It might come in his direction. It's going to Jakovic. He takes the mark. Well, he's not going to get any possessions if the delivery is as uh, poor as that. He was in position. Should have been a flat kick. Here, Here he goes. Go. Fights on to David King. Oh, That's on. not a bad snap at goal. Not bad. You'd say he was the main instigator of the goal, but Digby got hands on, they got a goal. Well, I think Glenn Jankovic would have to have a look at uh, his kick. It was a shocker. Yep. And that's what set it up. Well, it wasn't a kick. In fact, it was a handball to zero. Good pressure on the, you know, coming straight at him, though. Yep. Got a few now, Kingy. Let's have another look. This is where the goal started because Glenn Jakovic played on. He didn't have a plan. He went for the emergency get out of jail and uh, he finished up behind bars. Yeah, King put the pressure on from the front and he just coughed it up and he was rewarded for the hard work there, David King. Classic kangaroos this. They're just hanging on and the West Coast have had some opportunities to put a big gap in the scoreboard and haven't uh, taken advantage. Three goals, three to David King. Braun. Can Cousins kick a captain's goal? Once again, goes wide. He is a, a startlingly good player, Ben Cousins, and you would just about say being the best three midfielders in the league, the one area, the one area he lets himself down on is his kicking. Kangaroos' second quarters have been their best in 2002, winning 13 of 21. Well, not so thus far, this game. Martin, trademark hack out of defence, but to the midfield to Gardner. Plenty of time to turn around in this quarter for the Kangaroos. They did so in the first, in the latter half, so they still might come good. In Phil trouble. Matera, Green, Phil Matera, ducked into a tackle, a biases ball. Oh, shit. Ooh, they're red hot tonight, the umpire today, the umpires. 50. And they're not going to take any abuse. I mean, there's no prior opportunity. For mine, that was simply a ball up. Mm. And Phil Matera can point all he likes to his head, but he did duck in that regard. It was a good decision. Long kick to full forward. It carried through. The Kangaroos in front. Well, that is an amazing turnaround, but classic kangaroos, they hang in, they hang in, they hang in, and then if you give them a chance, they will uh, hurt you. Now, he ducked his head into it. There was no way known he had an opportunity to dispose of that, and that should have been a ball up. There's a lot of arguing going on from just two or three players with the West Coast, and maybe they've just got their eye off the main priority today. Oh. They like annoying the defenders. Kangaroos by a point. Drew Petri has two. Played 15 minutes now. Second term. Runner out to Phil Matera. 
Open the ball up, Cousins again. Bounces to half forward. High kick towards the top of the square. Mod locks up the down. Beautiful play, Dan Kerr. West Coast back in front. Well, the name Kerr has created headlines in Canberra before a couple of years ago, but Daniel Kerr, if he can continue this sort of uh, action, will be the headline maker. Now have a look at the style, Dermot. He's got an unusual one. He bends his torso into the ball as he kicks. Yeah. Throws his chest down. That's hard running from Kerr, isn't it's it? great running. He's come right out of the centre bounce there. Seesawing contest. West Coast Eagles must win this game to play a part in the 2002 final series. Simpson kicks to half forward. King from 50. Long drop part. 55 metre kick. Hate to tell you, Kangaroos back in front. Kicked his fourth, Kingy. Four goals through. There's a little bit happening there. And Digby's quite a nice character. And Glenn Jakovic has picked his target there. Unhappy that he's been taken right out of the action zone. But centre bounce clearance here. Well done by Simpson. He just does that so often. And he just splits apart from Richard Taylor there, David King. Last three scoring shots have changed the lead. Ten minutes to travel, second term. Cousins goes for the takeaway, doesn't get the free kick hum through traffic. Kerr, Wooden, Harding had him a little high. Cousins, the play on to advantage. Taylor runs to 50. Drop punt towards goal, just drifting. May have had the carry. Goal applies down. Regains his hat. I think he'll show the two fingers here. West Coast in front. Well, predetermined change there for Richie Taylor. He was coming off the ground. David King's kicked a couple in, on him in quick succession. Banfield comes on to replace him, but just followed up. Just stayed 15 metres off the back of the uh, ball then, Richard Taylor, and he was just running along as if he was a, as if he was a safety. And Cousins ran himself into trouble and made a good job of it from outside 50. Umpire David Flegg, up close and personal with Lee Colbert, who didn't quite get the fist to the ball in time. First goal of the year for little Richie Taylor. Spent most of the year in the back line when he's been in. Well, let's hope that noise in the background is the person they've apprehended as the man who was responsible for knocking over your car today, Dwayne. Yes, let's hope they find him. <laughs> ball to be out of sight. Let's hope they find Anthony Miffin's integrity as well. They knocked that off as well, did well, they? Yeah. Plenty of it. Didn't think he had that here in Canberra this weekend. Ball to half forward. Big chance here for another takeaway. West Coast. Stolen by Modlock. He's got a little bit left. Martin. Oh, come on through, Martin. Plenty of courage. And another trademark piece of work for one of the great defenders of all time. Toward half forward. Ball knocked up. A little dangerously. But not a throw. Long kick from the boot of Adam Hunter. Spearing ball, Munro inside 50. Little push on Matera, no free paid. Colbert going over. Wobbly kick towards Harvey from Sinclair. And Harvey is away. Drop punt, not so good. Petri, another slick, quick give back to Harvey. It's opened up for Harvey. A couple of bounces. Big guards are chasing him. Digby. He ran to the right spot there, Digby. I mean, the, the easy thing to do is think your team's on the burst, you run to the goal square. That's where the backmen want to run all the time. And when we see the replay, you'll see Glenn Jakovic is goal side of him. But he just cuts a little angle and comes up the field a little bit. And you have to play that way when you're a backman. Have you'll a look see at the this. kick come in. Just simply Brent Harvey, Canberra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well worked. 
<laughs> Beautiful work. He drives it through the middle. The last five scoring shots have taken the lead for the respective teams. This is a good contest. Round 22, coming to you live from Monica. Don't go away. That was a big turnover. It was a good bounce to Reed. You read it uh, spinning very quickly. The ball was always going to go over Braun's head. Brent Harvey was onto it, and he just sprinted down through the corridor, and Digby Morrell got away from his direct opponent. Good chase from Michael Gardner. It needs to do a bit more. Hasn't had much of an influence. Lee Colbert uh, stitched him up in the first quarter when he was playing at centre-half forward, and Colbert doing quite well across half-back without getting a lot of possessions. But uh, Digby Morrell... We isolated him early in the half. And uh, the last five minutes, he's got his hands on the footy. Kangaroos will play in the finals this year. It just depends on where they finish in the bottom half of the eight. They could finish as high as fifth or as low as seventh. They're currently sixth, if you can work all that out. From the ball up, King. And over the top, Harding. Now a chance for Jones. She's a good game of footy. It's the post. Two point of, lead to the ruse. A lot of risk taking there by the West Coast Eagles. Benny Cousins at the bounce down. The ball was still in dispute. As we hear the Harley roar past. Ball was still in dispute. Ben Cousins ran in his team's direction by about 20 metres. And that's just tossing the coin in the air. There's a problem here for Glenn Jagovic. He has hurt his right knee. And he doesn't look all that confident of being able to take part in the remaining six or so minutes of this second term. They're down to 17 men at the moment, the West Coast. Ball thumped to the boundary line by Morell, who is the loose man due to the Jakovic knee. Well, he's going to come from the ground. Ben Cousins also on a rotation with Richie Taylor, but somebody's got to push down from the forward line. Cover that man. Yep, first game it goes down there, McDougal. Taylor caught in the tackle. And we'll get a ball up just outside attacking 50 for the Kangaroos. Now Chris Judd was onto it. He's a smart player. He knew exactly what the circumstances were. Now they make a swap. McIntosh has gone on to Petri and McDougal on to uh, Morrell. Taylor's handball eventually found Collicker back to Taylor. Keeps it alive. Harvey. Despite the injured shoulder in very, very good form. Inside 50 only just Judd through traffic. That is magnificent evasion skills from a man playing in his first season of AFL football. Motlock from the wing. Long kick. Digby's on the move. Can't get there quick enough. Ball taken by McDougal. First gamer. Has a bounce for some arrogance. Chip kick. Hum. Takes the mark on the wing. Casey Green. Taylor, that's a mark. Play on the umpire's call. Well, it must have just caught a little bit of that dust in the middle. King. Sinclair. Long to half forward. Eagles with the numbers. Colica. Finished second in the best and fairest last year for the West Coast. Eagles behind Cousins. Bit of material wide to Braun. And now a short pass to Gardner. What about the feet of Chris Judd? I think there's only Robert Murphy and him. They've got the quickest feet in the competition. They can get out of incredible positions. Gardner inside, 50, but quarter. Good defensive mark. Simpson begging for it short. Goes with the longer option. Gardner. Sinclair. Well read. Modlock. Uses the pace through the middle. Two bounces. Long drop, punt. Morell, Colica. Ball eludes them. Bounces. Just to the wrong side. Out of play. West Coast need a major lift out of uh, Michael Gardner. Just three touches. Let's have a look at uh, Chris Judd and his feet. He can just change direction, then zip into top pace so quickly. Look at that acceleration away. He is an athlete and a half, but also an outstanding footballer. Shades of Jerry Rice for those who like their gridiron. When Jared said quick feet, I thought he was going to call him Fred Astaire for a second. Ball about to be popped back in. He's in good form, Jared, today. Yeah. You have to explain who Fred Astaire was to most of our yes. last <laughs> Very true. Back into play. Forward pocket, Petri. 
McIntosh was there, trying to toe poke it through Wooden. Oh, that's danger territory. A snap at goal. Petrie hasn't put that through. Touched. Only a behind. They're starting to win the ball in the air again this quarter, the Kangaroos. They've doubled the West Coast Eagles marks 14 to 7. So they're kicking, their field kicking is better, and they're controlling the ball in the air. Who's a latter day star dancer? Is it John Travolta? Four. Was he one? Well, you'd have to go in, wouldn't you? Bet my vintage. You're not too bad in the clubs yourself, apparently, Jerry. <laughs> Wooden. Long kick. How will it roll? To the advantage of Richard Taylor. Drop putt. Good hit. On the move. Matera takes the mark. Phil. Thought about playing on. Thought better of it. Room for Wilson. A lot of room to get on the lead. He's going to get it one out, though. Martin Wilson. Boundary line. Out of play on the full. Well, it's just a bad kick. It gave yeah. Wilson yep. no opportunity. Didn't kick to space. Just kicked it wide. And in the end, out in the full. Teague. From defensive 50, long to the wing. West Coast with the numbers. Peter Matera takes the mark. Cousins was preparing to come back on. Last four and a half minutes of the second term. Kerr, a little unsure. Chips it wide. Geez, he made the right decision. If he had have come across the ground, there were kangaroo players ready to sweep on it. Banfield to Taylor to Peter Matera. Wobbly kick inside 50. Wilson thought he had it. Colbert got an arm in the way. McDougall. Hacks it toward the top of the square tee. They put the wall up, the Kangaroos. Of 18 players on the ground, they have 14 inside defensive 50 right at this moment. Simpson to Blakey. Runs with a bounce. Sinclair, half back no. flank. High kick, McIntosh and Petrie. The latter forced to go for the punch. Wooden. Kerr. Caught by Cochran. And the umpire will bounce Anthony Mithens on the boundary. Yeah, Djakovic back out of the rooms. They tested his movement sideways, whether he could twist and turn with that right knee. He's done some damage. They'll test him out further along the boundary, I would suspect. Cox out with that ankle. He's on crutches down here, boundary side. So, Derm, it's a good thing they went tall, probably. Bounce. Report Mitho. Dylan Smith. High. Petri and McIntosh. Both went to spoil in the end. Tackle that's a little high on Cousins. And he gets the free at half back. Really static straight ahead. Ben Cousins looking up. There's hardly any movement now. McDougall leads, but he's let out of position. And he's going to have to reassess here, Ben Cousins. Tackles for the second quarter. Kangaroos 19 and the West Coast 10. High and wide to Gardner. That'll hurt. Giving his best friend at stat. Gardner on the wing. I'm probably just having a word to him. This is a really static forward line they're kicking to. Ben Cousins had the ball in a dangerous position. Halfback flank, and now they're on the wing. And a little too wide. Ball over the boundary line. David Haynes nearly over with it, over the fence. Make peace to Colbert. Dying minutes of the opening half toward the wing. Petri, the spoil. Kerr, the crumb. Crunched. Little kick on the ball by Gardner. Now, chance for Dylan Smith to get it out. Rolling ball. Half back. Adam Hunter. Banfield. King's about to close him down. Good chase. Has pushed him off the kick. Oh, Make Digby. Peace. Digby Morell's inside 50. Bounces to him. Gets a shot at goal. It's a tumble punt. Offline. You've got to say, you, you do have to know your limitations. Digby got it then. And he feigned as if he was going to balk the uh, encroaching player. And when he saw it was Peter Matera, he thought, no, this has got to be a quick kick and put himself under pressure. I think your comment early in the first quarter was the spot on one, Derm, when you said that the Kangaroos have got them playing their game and they're beating them at it. Snap it, goal by Simpson. Just across the face. Only a behind. Look, she's pretty scrappy. It's pretty close yep. in a fair. And... I reckon there's more players that the Kangaroos got the taste for it than uh, the West Coast just at the moment. And John Warsfold's going to have to address that at half time. There's probably half a dozen players out there just not going at the loose ball with the intensity of uh, what most of the Kangaroos are. You saw Judd, Cousins, and Kerr sprint away from the scrimmages in the centre of the ground with raw pace. Dennis Pagan's put those big packs together in the middle now, and they can't utilise their pace to get away. There's just too many bodies. 
McDougal, high kick towards the wing. Kangaroos, Colbert waits. Eventually it comes down. Last three scoring shots of the game have been behind to the Kangaroos. They've been attacking, not getting much forward at the moment. Dylan Smith got it inside 50 with a rolling ball off the tongue of his boot. But the ball not going anywhere, we will get another bounce. Inside 50 for the Kangaroos, who lead by four points. John Worsfold and co. That's right in the script to his half-time address. From the ball up, through traffic, Banfield, but stolen by Simpson. Now Grant, after Kerr got a handball away, thumping it out of play. You saw the stat that come up on screen a second ago. 17 to 10 marks in the first quarter, and the Kangaroos were doing better in the second quarter, but they've actually gone ahead of them now, 19. The uh, West Coast Eagles, that's because they've been forced to go short. They've lost their run, they're just chipping it around. Make peace, went with the check side, wobbly ball towards the square. Banfield, they've got the loose man on the outer side. Bad bounce for Taylor though. Thumb clear of him by Rawlings. Colbert, Harding, inside 50, dying seconds and he kicks the goal. There's hurt on that one. There's a lot of hurt on that one now. Opens up a 10-point lead, and the West Coast, they had those little feelings of insecurity, the self-doubt now, Jared. Four weeks without, a, lot, without yep. a win, and they can't get them at home, and now they'll feel that oh, our game has been uh, shut down. We can't get the, the quick players into space anymore. They're going to have to keep working. They're going to have to really address this situation of the packs because that's where the Kangaroos have uh, got themselves back into the game and have now built a 10-point lead at halftime. That's the biggest lead the Kangaroos have had for the game, just repeating earlier in the opening term. The West Coast led by 22 points. Long kick by Dylan Smith inside, 50 dying seconds. Harding, Morell, Cochran through a couple of tackles. King caught <laughs> half a kick away. Shannon Grant about to pounce. Time might beat him. He beats them all and misses. But once again, it was a classic example. Lots of uh, Eagles players running around the contest, but the Kangaroos were going straight at the footy. And they were prepared to work the hardest, and they got the ball, and David King looking for the free kick for a little backhander there. Good on you, Kingy. He's had a day out so far, Kingy. Four goals, three for his beloved Kangaroos. And good value up on the half forward line. And the half time score the Kangaroos lead by 11 points. 10 10 70, West Coast 9 5 59. Nice stuff for the West Coast Eagles. Big Mark Porter on screen there. He'll carry the ruck to Big Gardner opposite him. Mick Martin still pushing and shoving. And I think uh, Gardner is going to be a key. West Coast Eagles. Big Mark Porter on screen there. He'll carry the ruck. To Big Gardner opposite him. Mick Martin still pushing and shoving. And I think uh, Gardner is going to be a key player in this, uh, the outcome in this second half. He hasn't had a great first half, but he is mobile enough and he can play like another midfielder. He's just got to give them first use of the footy, Dwayne. Kangaroos carry an 11 point lead into this second half. Braun caught, sure, good tackle. Good Dylan Smith tied it up. King got it to Porter, kick smothered. Peter Matera. The clearance to half forward. Flying, good mark in the NT. Martin running off, long kick. Simpson, Peter Matera, good fist. Not quite the pick up, still a chance. Handballs it across the boundary line. That, uh, oh, there's one of the all time greats. I always nominate Ross Glendenny on the screen there as the most difficult player ever to play against. The best centre half back I played against. Fantastic player. Ball about to be put in. And that was excluding your good self when you wandered down, Dwayne. <laughs> Fair difference. Not much difference in the score, which is the good news here, though. 11 points, Dylan Smith. High kick. Hum impeded by Wooden, who's hurt out of that. Hum still a chance. Lays the tackle on Smith. That's Punished. a couple that Smith has found himself in the middle of in the opening stages of this third term. Simpson. Toward half forward, McIntosh stumped it down. Chambers, Jakovic, knee looks okay. Green hacks it toward the wing. 
big flies go up. Harms grab of that was superb. Kicks toward the goal square. Phillips got it. Just got Makepeace worried now against him. Looked for the body too early there, Troy Makepeace. Overcommitted and ended up falling over. Really went to push into Philip Matera. Overbalanced. Lost him there. Simple man. Well, Philip Matera has two. Chance to kick the opening goal of the third term. And Philip Matera now has three. The West Coast get within a goal. Well, they've had a few touches around the centre of the ground. And they just start winning. It was a good mark by Hum, though, running with the fly to the ball. Outstanding mark. Yeah. Gutsy. That's Here the sort of stuff that's going to get them back into this game. Have a look. He just stays underneath it. And brilliant exit via the front door. Was that the back door? <laughs> back door. Yeah. Got to get it right late in the match. Well, you'd know the difference. Five points to the margin. Early stage, third term. Gardner in the ruck. Against Porter. All important takeaway almost to Modlock, but he handballed it to Cousins. Backtracks a little. Gives himself some space for the bounce. Drives it along inside 50. Oh, yeah. oh nearly Philip Atira. Off hands, make peace. Bounces away from Hum, who gets a shepherd from Dylan Smith that releases make peace for a few more bounces. Got to hold it, they're all out of position. Kick not so good, and on the rebound, it might be the Eagles. He'll get it at the to other get end. A score. Cousins has spent a few pennies in the last 30 seconds. Has enough to show some poise. Drive it back to half forward. Porter. Mark Lop. Simpson in space on the wing of it bounces for him. He could even go all the way. Taps it to his own advantage. Runs to the 50 metre arc. Long drop part towards goal. Across the face. A behind. And Troy Makepeace ran the field, turned the ball over. Philip Matera through laziness or just found himself inside 50 at the other end. The ball got turned over and it was unfortunate with Ben Cousins had the blinkers on. Philip Matera was out on the flank all by himself, but he elected to go centre. Had it gone out to Matera, he'd been running into the open goal. McIntosh. Gardner the target. Flies. Can't mark. Off hands. Robbins caught. Good tackle. And we'll get a bounce on attacking 50 for the Kangaroos. West Coast Eagles bench. We have the man closest to us. The first gamer, Andrew McDougall. Some interesting stats for both teams. We might see this game run a strange course to the wing. Teague off hands. Haynes didn't really know where it was going to bounce, but Blakey did. Went hard at it. They went hard at him. And we'll get another bounce on the wing. Anthony Mithen is on the boundary line. They're going down like fires, the West Coast. Josh Wooden has come off the ground hobbling a little, and they don't believe in the boundary side diagnosis. Straight up the rooms to have a look at him too. Porter out of the air. Wobbly kick. David King comes hard. Kerr hard. King harder. Couldn't get the kick away. Kane Munro in the middle of it all, and he gets a free kick. The late inclusion. Just his second game for the year. Chips the ball wide. Banfield has a paddock. Blanky comes at him, forces him to kick. Not such a good kick. And the mark by Sinclair and another wasted foray into attack. Tried to kick the cover off it there, Drew Banfield. Motlock. Uses the outer side space created. Couple of bounces. Long inside 50. How will it bounce? McIntosh leaves it for Collica, who is content to run it through for a behind. This pedestrian, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Only early stages, of course, in this third term, but it does make the lead one goal one rather than the one straight kick. Alan Aylett on the screen there. And Barry Cheatley, who's been a long time kangaroo. Morell. Nice piece of work. Shot at goal, wide from Lee Harding, swinging back. And yet another behind. Harding has kicked one goal, two today, to make it 29 goals, 29 There's, for the season. It used to be a huge kick, kick Glenn Jakovic. The last one with the 10 metres 
on the goal square. His kick out, he gave it everything and it only landed five outside the 50. Hopefully you get onto one here. Let's see how this goes. McIntosh Long, Jakovic. Strength. And he's all right. Peter Matera from the wing. That's a better pass inside 50. Martin with Wilson. Off hands, Phil couldn't grab it. Callum Chambers caught, falls. Handball too slick for Hum. Rides the tackle, got the kick away just in time. Ball came out, make peace to Rawlings. Wobbly ball to the wing. Dylan Smith met heavily. And we'll get a ball in on the wing. Good commitment from Cousins. Let's have a look at this boundary line throwing after. He's actually going all right, Hum, and he gets the foot mm. onto it, so it's not a free. Have a look at the crowd here now. This is what Dennis has been doing. He's worried about the pace around the packs, so he's just totally crowding in. They'll just snap kick it forward, the Kangaroos. We're tempted. Porter to Dylan Smith. Kick smothered, drawn, almost threw it out. Gardner handball smothered by oh, Simpson. By Simpson. Caught by Peter Matera. Slipped through the grass for Porter. And Kerr is away. Long kick for the Eagles to half forward. Colbert, fist on ball. Cousins, big hip and shoulder behind play. Cousins through traffic, chips it to Hum. Play on not 15, back to Cousins. Can't get the captain's goal uh, behind. Jesus, a couple of uh, great pieces of play in that, including that mm. Shepherd. I thought it might have been a bit more severe than that, but uh, it looked good from that angle, but not so much from the side. <laughs> David Haynes, the block, make peace. Harvey. Long. Simpson in the box seat. Matera comes at him. Legal spoil according to the umpire. Blakey. Simpson. Dispossessed. Well played by Haynes. Matera back inside. 50. Good attack by Hum. Has done it a few times. Cousins to Kerr. Can kick it from 45. Brings it around. Brings it around enough. Well, it was a great goal. The finish was excellent. But I reckon Hum has set the standard for his team. He's only a kid, but he has just thrown himself in recklessly. That created the spillage there. He's been involved in a couple now, a couple of their goals this quarter. And Jeremy Hum, I think, is just making a name for himself because his attack on the footy is first class. And that's the style of play that is going to either win or lose them this match. Daniel Kerr's second goal. Brings the margin back to one point. We've played nine minutes. Third term. Porter in the ruck. Gardner reaches high. Dylan Smith. Handballs to Simpson for the takeaway. Four bounces unkindly for most. Half forward flank. Harding takes on Banfield. who takes him out of play. Had to take him on. That's mm. what he's there for. He was there to split open the opposition. Good chase. Yep. By Drew. He's a good honest player Banfield isn't he Harding at half time shed the long sleeve jumper with the short sleeve on now Simpson out of the air He's inside 50 Petri Jones 45 from goal he tries to bring it around Jakovic gets back he's climbing there was an infringement but it's a goal <laughs> Look at the uh, face on Dippy Morell, he can't believe it. <laughs> but Simpson's their big worry. You can hear the uh, the effects. Yeah, he is. He's finding the ball, isn't he? Four or five possessions already. Five possessions, four kicks. But that's a good goal across the body there. And he's just complaining about the, the hand. You know, drag on the arm. And <laughs> heard him through the effects, Mike. Yell at the umpire right there. You watch what's going on. <laughs> Game 248 for Glenn Jakovic, so he needs the West Coast to make the finals to keep the chances of his 250th this year alive. Simpson to half forward, ball through the hands of Petri, King, Harding, to step in, runs the 50, he might be within range to 48, drop part, two in a row. Well, it would appear to them they just can't sustain it long enough, the West Coast, to 
either get back the lead or uh, build a lead. Because yeah. uh, the, every quarter's been exactly the same. They fire up for the first 10 minutes and that's enough. Yeah. Lee Harding there brings up the Kangaroos' 12th goal. And you see Ashley McIntosh, he's been a champion, but he's on railway tracks there, and Lee Harding knows it. Just puts the pedal down and guns one from inside 50. Collected the ball about 65 out and kicked it about 40 out. Just put the pedal down there. And that's right, when he took on uh, Drew Banfield before, he's yep. there to try and break the opposition up with his pace. Kangaroos out to their biggest lead of the game, 13 points. Gardner through traffic, Peter Matera. Banfield, drop punt to half forward, getting back, good mark taken just inside defensive 50 by Teague. Harvey, Blakey, half back flank, loose man on the wing is Robbins, takes the mark, takes off, takes the opportunity to give it to Grant. 90 from goal, high kick, Morell flies, good punch away from him, Motlop, almost caught, handball almost to Judd, Callum Chambers, hacks it from half back, Hum, on the wing, high kick, half forward, Philip Matera, the man that'll have to oh, go, well and did he go? Jeremy Hum once again, when he touches it, it's turned into goals. Long torpedo towards the square! Lady. It's taken the bounce. Well, if Shane Warren can get back into form and turn him like that, he will take another 100 wickets. But that was a big leg break on that. But you're right, it was just a... What's the body hit here? And moves Teague away from the drop of the ball. Solid, squat little body there. Good power. But he was put into position to take it. This is a you know, great bounce for the goal. But Jeremy <laughs> Harm, I don't think a lot of the Eagles have got outstanding foot skills but harm appears to uh, be pretty deliberate haven't seen enough of him to uh, absolutely classic classify him as a classic kick but he does appear to know under pressure which uh, does make the right the decision under pressure bounce good game good contest Kerr Peter Matera inside 50 oh. good mark running with the flight of the ball Lee Colbert trying to do his old Geelong teammates a favor by beating the West Coast and allowing Geelong to make the finals. Mick Martin did him a big favour too, just moved Troy Wilson away from it. Robbins, half forward, good mark taken by Jones. Tries to play on quickly, back to Robbins. Petrie, 50 out. Touched, Jakovic, big punch on Morell. Thumped toward the boundary line by Chambers and will get a ball in, forward pocket for the Kangaroos. Yeah, Ashley McIntosh has done a good job on Drew Petrie since quarter time. He's taken a couple of grabs in the first quarter, Petrie, and McIntosh has shut him down since then. Porter and Gardner. Morell, Harvey, couldn't quite pounce, was in the right spot at the right time. Got there a little too quickly, out of play. Andrew McDougall preparing to come back on. Good record here, the Kangaroos. Jockeying for a high position in the bottom half of the top eight. You can make sense of that. Kerr. Wide handball toward the boundary line and the ball out of play. That'll be fifth spot. Yeah. Yeah. And for those like me and you, Dermot, who thought school was just the thing you did between sports days. Yes. It's a little difficult to work out the connotations of who can finish where this afternoon. But the bottom line for the West Coast is they win, they're in. Ball back into play. Free kick. Jones. From good outside hit. 50. No one home for the Ruse. Jakovic gets back. Yeah, it was a good hit. A lot of purchase on it, but uh, poorly directed in the end. Peter Matera is lifted. Coming up for his sixth possession. They've got Cochran on him now, but he's getting plenty of ball. To the wing. Sinclair Free flies. Kicks. He did use the back of an opponent to get up. Chambers. Uh, get it regardless, the West Coast. That's a beautiful pass to Gardner through the middle. He can go all the way from 51 metres out. That is a brilliant goal from Michael Gardner.
Well, that's exactly what uh, this kid is capable of and what he has to deliver on a regular basis if he's, if he's to fulfill his talent. He can get this side into the finals if he has a huge second half. It just looked as if Brent Harvey was trying to protect that shoulder there. Doesn't really want to tackle. He's pretty courageous just being out yeah, there. Yeah, might have another look at that later. Michael Gardner bringing up the West Coast Eagles 13th goal. Watch Brent Harvey here. He can smother and he could have tackled. And he just runs across and the best he does is make an eclipse. Injured shoulder. It's all about light and how much he blocked out. Not much. Robbing Peter to pay Paul. They need him in the midfield, but he can't tackle. Robbins gets the takeaway to half forward. Fly by Petri. A little early, a little unorthodox. Tackle laid by Colica. Banfield towards the wing. Chambers had two to beat, couldn't beat them both. Simpson, high, playing for a free kick, but not getting it was Jones and Jakovic. Strength. Well done. Nice handball to Chambers. Hospital. Cousins caught. McDougall caught by Cochran. Kerr tried to smother the ball, knocked it towards Jakovic. Forced to live. That could be a high tackle. And the umpire agrees with. Jared Healy, free kick to Judd. He's having a dip, Glenn Jackovich. I've got no doubts at the moment now. Drew Petrie's running a bit flat, he's a bit tired. If they took him off and put somebody more mobile on Ashley McIntosh, as we see the ball spill over the boundary line, we've got somebody to try and turn around Ashley McIntosh at the other end. A bit of pace, somebody a bit more uh, nimble. I think that might really hurt McIntosh. You saw Harding run away from him. Back into play. Cochran got it from the palm of Burton to the wing. And the ball rolls out of play. Adam Simpson, seven disposals this term so far. Harding on screen with Wooden. And you see here Gardner, he'll take the ruck, but it looks as if he is taking the ruck and then pushing forward to that centre-half forward position, trying to take Spider with him. Kerr trying to slick handball. Peter Matera caught, couldn't get the kick away. Kangaroos... Numbers around the ball, he could I like throw it, a tea towel, towel around about 15 of them at the moment, and it is their style, Dermot. Absolutely, and it's just a quick snap kick forward. From the time they lay hands on the footy in this situation, the Kangaroos, there's basically no step mm. before they kick it, whereas the Eagles get it, and they'll try and run away from the scrimmage and get into space before they kick. Both forward lines open because of it, and Cousins on the end of a brilliant palm by Gardner, kicks it to the open forward line. Bounces, Martin goes to spoil. Hands. Beautiful hands, Phil Matera got it around the body. Kane Munro! Welcome to the big time. Well, Gardner's been involved in uh, their last two goals and he's lifted Dermot and he's, uh, he's becoming a major factor in this, qu in this quarter and uh, in, the, in the game. Well, Kane Munro, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce where he's come from. Walpy up, underball. Pardon? I think it's Walpy up, underball. But I'm... Um, chance to be corrected. 85 plays 90. The West Coast. Back in front by five points. Kane Munro. Kicking where, the goal. Where's he from, Kane? Pretty sure he's from Walpy up underball. From the midfield, Judd. In other words, he's come from nowhere. He has. <laughs> Sinclair got the handball out, but towards Wilson. Kerr, 40 from goal. Big this team. would be a miracle from the pocket. Magnificent kick. He's a star, this kid. Seventh possession for the quarter, and that is a most difficult shot on goal. And this is turning into a very, very handy mini break they are getting here. They're starting to win the ball in the centre again, and they are showing good fitness here, the Eagles. They're running away from these stoppages. And this bloke, he was in the centre of the ground about eight seconds before that, ten seconds before that, runs forward on every occasion, and they just can't shut him down. No, he's a great athlete. He's a great player. He was stiff last year not to win the Rising Star Award. But he's gone on with it. And Michael Gardner just continues to have an impact. Cousins has lifted. Matera certainly has lifted. And their forward line looks far better when they get it in there quickly. 
Gardner again to cuts off. They are best here. mates in that, combining beautifully from 55. Martin trying to get back, back pocket. That's a good result for the Eagles in the end. I reckon they should uh, drag Porter into the ruck or change the mix there somewhere because he's just got Spider's measure at the moment. Is it this ground, the, the, you have a look at that, what a fantastic hit out. Hits to advantage. I reckon hit outs, the statistic is over glorified on many, many occasions. When they go to advantage like that, they're as good as a, uh, a deft handball. This ground is very similar in dimensions to Subiaco, one would imagine. That's suiting the Eagles. Burton. Handball ricocheted to Sinclair. Hum. Another good tackle. Colbert to Harvey. Not a great kick. Burton under it. Simpson. Travelled 15, according to the umpire. Coming up for his eighth possession of this quarter. Burton. Not a good one. Good punch away. Ball still alive. Burton got it to Harvey eventually. To the wing. Cochran and Taylor. Ball out of play. Well, they've set themselves up with the lead a couple of times in this match to West Coast, only to just drop off. Now, there's just over six minutes of play remaining. Two goals to the Eagles will give them, you'd think, a match-winning lead. Two goals to the Kangaroos, and you'd reckon the confidence would be sapped, and uh, the result may be there. Yes, they don't necessarily need to win the Kangaroos. They will make the finals regardless, whereas the West Coast must win. Cousins to Wilson. He's on 50. They're just bashing them at the uh, stoppages now. The Eagles, once again, their pace around the packs. This quarter at the breaks, the centre bounce breaks, 6-3 in favour of the West Coast Eagles. Now, that's a specialty area for the Kangaroos, and they've doubled them in this quarter. That is the Eagles. Well, it was the area that had to be addressed by John Walsfold at half-time, and his charges have taken note. Equalise the Kangaroos in that area. And you'd reckon that they've got the firepower to win. They can run forward from it if they do equalise them there. Wills can kick two goals in the opening term. Drifts it back. That's a goal! The West Coast have kicked five in a row. Well, it's getting to the dangerous stage now. A pretty handy lead. You see them coming back from here, Dermot? Well, they will. I reckon they'll bring the margin in a bit closer. But the thing is, you've got over 20 possessions between Peter Matera, Cousins and Kerr in the midfield at the moment. And their possessions they get with pace. You never underestimate the Kangaroos, but it looks pretty ugly. West Coast Eagles led by 22 points halfway through the opening term. Starting to break open another handy lead. We're into time on third term. The takeaway. Cousins has lifted. Got the handball out. Munro. Handball half smothered. Kerr. Ridden by Petri. Nicely. And the umpire, Andrew Coates, will bounce. 16-6 is pretty sharp shooting. Bounce on the outer side. Simpson over the top. Couldn't quite get it to a teammate. Two players for the West Coast Eagles combining to keep it in. Judd and Kerr. Yeah, that's a reflection on the match there too, Jared. 25 scoring shots for the Kangaroos to 22 for the West Coast Eagles, and yet they're 17 points down. King technically didn't get the takeaway. Green. Hum. Throw. Couldn't trap that one. Sinclair. Runs the wing. Kicks the Kangaroos to half forward. Burton. Flies higher than any. Harding inside 50. A toe poke, but to McIntosh. She's been good in this last uh, in this quarter. The two key defenders for the Eagles. So has that man Gardner to the outer side. And Teague in front of Hum, who's also been sensational. Sees the ball out of play. Kangaroos have just seem to have lost someone like David King forward of the centre who's threatening on goal they had Harding for a couple of times this quarter very early they just have no strike power at ground level now change in the ruck mytho yeah Burton off and Porter on you called it about five minutes ago you get it now Jared well he's just got to start crashing into Michael Gardner Porter and try and take the wind out of him because he has been significant big pack around the bounce down here Dennis Pagan Still negotiating that new contract. Ball to Harvey. 
High kick, half forward. Make peace, claiming the mark. Braun got a touch on it. Make peace inside. 50. Morell. Important kick. Any win down there, Mitho? Yeah, it might just be favouring uh, West Coast's end of the ground, but coming from uh, the non broadcast side or the non camera side over to uh, our side on this side of the ground. So, yeah, just a slight breeze favouring West Coast, you would say. Well, now that we've got that clear, see how this <laughs> kick impacts it. Yeah. He put it through. Two goals to Dick Morell. Don't write the kangaroos off just yet. Good solid lead though. Recognised his teammate further afield. Make peace who half claimed the mark and he's off already. And I reckon it's a good move trying to get Jakovic back. You know, he does set up and he rebounds well. He sets up and and uses the footy pretty well, but he's not quick off the mark. Get him from a standing start out of the goal square. We'll go down to Mitho again, surely. We're confused up here. First score for the Kangaroos since the 11 minute mark of this third term. We've now played 27 minutes. Gardner flies high, Rawlings with a takeaway for the Roos. Race on, King. Oh, body over slam. The top of it. A little bit of a body slam. They might get back here, the Kangaroos might kick oh. two quick ones. Harvey wanted to play on, King will have the ball given to him. Umpire said it wasn't to the Kangaroos' advantage. Uh, Digby Morell is probably the best bet here because he's going to have the better pace advantage over Jakovic. David King from the wing. High kick. Porter lurking. Good punch away in the end. He was in the box seat. Kerr caught. Somehow knocks it to Peter Matera who gets it towards the wing. Rolling ball. Colbert chasing. Boundary line might beat him. Keeps it alive. Umpire said no. And we'll get a ball in on the wing. Inside the last three minutes of the third term, Peter Matera lurking at halfback, having a good term, and Drew Banfield preparing to come back on for the West Coast. Ball back into play. McDougal in the ruck, thumped away by Grant. Out of play on the full. And that was off the boot of Green. He was under a bit of pressure. It wasn't easy being green there. And he couldn't keep the ball from going out of bounds on the full. Free kick to the Kangaroos. Motlop. High. Very high. Petri. Jakovic. Big fist wins out. Hum. From defence. Hunter. A couple of bounces. Looping handball to Cousins. Can he get around Rawlings? Gets the kick away to half forward. Wilson. Crush. Oh, great, no. Now he's, he's got the range here. Mitho, he's, he's got a little bit of wind at his back, hasn't he? Yeah, just a <laughs> slight breeze coming from what you would call probably the outer side, wouldn't you? Into our faces. To we're slightly side, favouring Mitho. that end. <laughs> yes. Well, though, wherever you're sitting at this ground, you feel like you're in the outer. Ten disposals for the captain. Oh. And have a look at Michael oh. just standing on his foot. You nasty man, Mick. <laughs> You're getting grumpy in his old age. Well done, Mick. <laughs> of course, that was accidental, wasn't it? Ah, I let him get away with it. It's a bit of niggle. Well done, Mick. Put 100, 101, 102 Ks on the ankle. It's yeah. pretty... <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. He's an old-fashioned type, Mick Martin. It's a great mark. He's got... Long hands, it would seem. Yeah. I don't think, Long arms, I should say. I don't think we're going to get Mick out on a surfboard at any stage, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Not with balance like that. Brent Harvey coming off for a rest, Mitha. Uh, ben Robbins on. Uh, a few scallywags in the crowd, too. Wilson, you pussy, get up and uh, take your kick, too, from that famous ad with the mints. He's got three. <laughs> Which famous ad was that, Mitha? <laughs> oh, I know that. Oh, tickled my fancy anyway. <laughs> good. Yeah, the one good one, Wilson. Yep. No, but he has got a chance here. He's got a, he's got a show. Just testing it out. Taking have, some time. He's going to have to carry it about 55, 56 metres here, with apparently a slight bruise at his back. Well, he's got to get the hurry up shortly. From 60, 
Drop part, holds up and offline, only a behind. Caught up in the wind, Mitho. <laughs> yeah, might have, Jared. Anyway, the scoreboard mm. uh, suggests it's going to be a great last quarter, and you'd expect the West Coast players just to be almost suicidal, they given what's riding on it. They need a good kick in the Kangaroos from Blakey's boot. Seconds remaining. Kicks in long. Peter Matera and Colbert. Colbert does well, almost a scoop. Sinclair. Rolling ball. What? She should be a big goal, this. To Sinclair. Riding the wing. Kicks toward half forward. Make peace. Banfield. 60 from the defensive goal. Munro. To Hunter. Touches it on the ground. Takes some time. Rolls it toward the wing. Might be out of bounds on the full. It is. Just over 60 seconds remaining. Robbins. High to half forward. Big pack flies. Make peace. Matera by two. Nice little handball. And they'll get away with it, the West Coast Eagles. Wooden. Can't run. Half back flank. Injured. It's got Callum Chambers loose. Gives it to Green. Handball back to Phil Matera. Chambers still ignored. Kick. Down the corridor. That's a brilliant pass. So about 80 metres from goal. It's got room for Wilson if he can get on there quick enough. Get it onto the boot. Andrew McDougall playing a good first game. Long to the square. Mix. Martin, Wilson, Kerr. Can't do the impossible. And it's another behind. Mick doesn't actually try and mark the ball now. He put his hands up as if he was feigning a mark. And his hands were about two feet apart. Just tries to disguise the little touch push in the back. Disguise it all that well, I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> I thought the Eagles pretty stiff not to get a free kick. Blakey to himself. Then heads to the outer side. Couple of bounces. Long kick. Getting back. Not in time to take the mark, Munro. And Robbins sees well, he, the ball out of play. And he's entertained us, Mick Martin. He's done a little bit of surfing on an ankle. Watch his hands, how close they come together. There's the push. Yeah, he's, he doesn't even attempt to go yeah, for it. Yeah, there wasn't much in it in the end, was it? No, little push, just moved him under it. Colbert doing the rock work against McDougal. Cousins couldn't trap it. Maybe one last opportunity for either team to score. The ball in on the wing about to take place before three-quarter time. Peter Matera has kicked one. Brother Philip has four. Ball back into play. He'll get the all-important takeaway, Colbert. Kick half smothered. Richard Taylor met hard. Bit of three-quarter time. It'll be the West Coast Eagles taking a lead in. Dennis Pagan on screen. Has some work to do for the Roos. The West Coast Eagles have only won one game away from home this year. That was a one-point ball game against Carlton at Princess Park. Can they do it here? Hang around and you'll see Kangaroos 13-13-91, West Coast 16-8-104. Kenner with him. Yeah, thanks for breaking out of the pack, Bluey. And a couple of the old war horses down back, Jakovic and McIntosh, they stood up that quarter along with Michael Gardner. What a quarter from him. Yeah, they needed to and certainly Gardy was dominant in that quarter which allowed our runners to get uh, first use of the ball. And that's going to have to be the case this quarter as well. We could hear them breaking then. There was a bit of fire in the eyes at uh, three-quarter time. Do you sense they've got enough run in the legs? Yeah, hopefully there's enough petrol in the tank. Uh, and the boys know it potentially could be our last quarter. And, uh, you know, we've got to play for, uh, you know, we'll play for keeps uh, this quarter and uh, make sure we get the win. Go and see what you can do, Bluey. Thanks for that. Thanks there, Metho. Strange to see Peter Matera coming from the ground. Yeah. Dermot, first up, he had a magnificent third quarter. Maybe they're just going to give him an extended break, add another five or six minutes onto the three-quarter time break and uh, let him loose. You would think so. They're just going to freshen him up and, yeah, as Let's you say, let him loose. Having said that, they've got a lead of seven points. It's going to be, oh, sorry, 13, 13 points. It's going to be pretty hot early. If they can kick two or three goals, they may break open the Kangaroos. They don't need to win, essentially. They will True. make the eight. Well, it's just a matter. They're, they're going to be in the bottom four of the uh, final eight, aren't mm. they? Now, does the mentality set in with the Kangaroos? Well, we're going to play one of three other teams. Doesn't really matter. We've got to win anyway in the finals. So 
Are we building our heads against a brick wall just for a win today? But Dennis Pagan can be of a very different nature. He'd be saying Gee. you will set the tone for the finals by this final quarter. And I reckon winning fifth spot is a pretty fair bonus. And with respect to the Geelong boys that are listening at the moment, their form hasn't been as good as the sides uh, above them at this stage. Yes, fifth plays eighth. 6v7 in the opening week of the final series. The other two games already decided from the top half of the eight. Port Adelaide against Collingwood in Brisbane to play Adelaide. It all comes down to this for the West Coast Eagles. 22 rounds of football. Now it's come down to 30 minutes of football to see if they'll play in the finals for 2002. They start with a 13-point lead. Cousins met heavily in the middle. Sinclair. Thump forward. Chambers. Judd. Half court. Again. Shrugs T. Kicks inside. 50. Motlop getting back. Can't take the mark. Martin thumps the ball down. Taylor from 50. Drop punt. Here's wide. Only a behind. Let's go down to Anthony Mithen. Yeah, just had a look at Peter Matera. It doesn't seem to be any visible injury. He hasn't had any treatment at three-quarter time. So just having a spell, heat in the kitchen, early doors. Maybe they are saving him for later. McDougall, Cox, Peter Matera and Banfield. That full bench as Makepeace brings it in from defence to Blakey. The one-two. Simpson. Did he hold it long enough? Umpire said no. Trip. And that's a trip. The double whammy for Simpson. It's good effort in the end by Gardner. It was a last second spoil of Simpson. He looked like he may have just controlled it, but uh, good effort. Only got the one boot on at the moment. Gardner kicks to half forward. Wrestle of a mark between Haynes and Colbert. Neither paid. Make peace. Keeps the ball alive. Runner got in the way. Porter. Gardner. One boot on. Got the other on just in time to be crunched. And we'll get a bounce on the wing. Good just shepherd, readjusting dude. that but he didn't quite get the whole heel on that was a good shepherd by brett hetty former west coast <laughs> champion <laughs> just got an ear in the way in time <laughs> very harsh one blocked him right out there bounce on the wing porter and gardner king kicks it inside 50 and a good kick to jakovic this time he beats morell a behind ben cousins has been picked up by Jess Sinclair. So the two number nines are going head to head in this final term. And Cousins, no doubt, uh, was the inspiration in their third term. It's a big jo job for Jess Sinclair. McIntosh long. Simpson. Beautiful fly over the top. Sends the Kangaroos back to the top of the goal square. Over the top. Petri couldn't mark it. Trickling kick from Harding. And he's thrown it through. going to be an exciting finish. <laughs> David King gets more kicks off the ground than just about any player in the competition. He gets more yardage or meterage with it as well. He's always dangerous and well that's gone through three, at least two legs to get a goal. He's a goal sneak. Three goals to Harding. And the Kangaroos are coming. Seven points the margin. Three minutes in, final term, Harding again. Gets the takeaway to half forward. Punch away from Hunter. Braun. We saw the ball travel between his legs for the last goal. Can't gather it here. Grant from Harvey. Long towards Morell. Ball clean, bowls a couple. Race on. McIntosh, Jones, McIntosh. Just in time. Well, he had to dig in the big fella then, didn't he? And I reckon he would have been praying, just don't bounce one way or the <laughs> other. <laughs> don't go sideways on me. Because he was always going to hit the deck when he went down to rush that through. Pulled the margin back to one straight kick. McIntosh over the top. Giant attempted the mark, but unable to pull it down was Munro. Kick toward the outer side and tee. Strength and determination. Plenty of half forward to Grant. Motlop calls for it, gets it. 
70 from goal. That's a long launch to the goal square. Getting back, Jones! Marked it on the behind line. And that means he will be on the most acute angle possible. Plays on, kicks the goal. And scores a little. The thing that's disturbing right now for John Worsfold is the fact that there was loose men for the Kangaroos at half forward and there's loose men inside 50, especially this fellow, Jones, close to goal. There's loose men everywhere, forward of the centre, for the Kangaroos. Now, if they're going to make the finals, if they're going to win this game, they've got to be more accountable like that. Well, there's Peter Matera on screen talking to Brett Hetty. He's come onto the ground. He'll go and start the bounce at the, in the defensive half. Gardner, Cousins, Judd. Gardner again. Nice piece of fancy footwork from Gardner. And with the foot gets it inside. 50, Wilson. Threads a handball that's a little too long for the intended target, Munro. Loops it out. They're in trouble. The Eagles, they might get out of it here. Handball from Chambers finds Peter Matera. Kick around the body wide. Waiting. Braun. Same again with Wilson on the lead out. On full steam ahead. Just didn't have the ability to do the U-turn and overcook the handball. Michael Braun takes his time. Outside 50. Two kicks from goal. Haynes is the only target he's got ahead. Goes long to Haynes. Good punch away, Colbert. Gathers his own crumb. Sinclair. Make peace. Kangaroos away and lively to the midfield. Petri, Harding, Peter Matera beats them all. Handball out wide. Green. Now Wooden, still on the wing. Kick to half kick. forward. Beautiful kick to half forward. And the mark taken on the outer side by Munro. Takes some time. They're just playing this game now the way they want to, the Kangaroos. They know they've got plenty of time to win it. They're just chocking it up here. Chips it to Braun. Needs a pass option inside 50. He's too far out to score. Gardner's floated down to the goal square. Braun. Long to the top of the square to the danger spot. Wilson flies way too early and Martin will be the recipient of a free kick. It's not a good jumper. Troy Wilson. He doesn't jump all that high off the deck. So watch him here. Hands on the back of Mick's head. Might have hurt an ear on the way through there. Wouldn't hurt Mick. Blakey. Few bounces. Three now. Drop punt to half forward. Green gets back. Good spoil Teague. Slick handball from Petri to Grant. Now Robbins. Inside 50 Morell and Jakovic. Fist wins out from Jakovic. Wooden. Dangerous handball to Braun. Got the spares on the wing though. Good handball in the end because the spares will mop it up. Munro. Cousins. Half forward. High kick. Colbert one on one. Two grabs from Haynes. Race on. Hum. Knocked it away from Makepeace. Haynes got it out just in time. Hum again. Caught by Modlock. Grant from half back. Good contest this. Scores level. 14 minutes remaining. Short pass wide to Sinclair. Has the loose man at half forward. Hits Jones. Bounces to 55. Long kick towards the goal square, but it's too wide. It does put them in front, but only by behind. Well, I predicted this. Mike Williams is joining us in the box. There's a few bucks down Geelong at the moment, <laughs> riding them through to the left-hand side of screen. Well, the West Coast do miss out if it's a draw. A draw not good enough for them, and Morell. Nice mark. Harvey inside 50. Beautiful play by Green. Can he find Matera? Does. Peter. Handball to Cousins. He has Gardner wide in space. Poetry in slow motion from Gardner around big man Porter. Inside 50. Wilson. It'll take a long kick. But he can put the West Coast back in front. He's possibly into a little bit of breeze mm. as well. He could pull scores level. 
He's got an unusual kicking style. He almost walks to the uh, point where he actually strikes the ball, and he's not in a real flow through on impact. From 52, low trajectory drop. Hunt that had the carry off hands and scores a level again. Nine minutes in, final term. Alan Aylip anxiously awaiting the result, as is that man, Dennis Pagan. At least that man has an influence on the result. 106 apiece. Look for a play on here. Harvey to be utilised. Just go short now. Make peace there short to Rawlings. Back to make peace down the corridor with some style. Pump chasing. Can't get him. Kick to half forward. Rawlings. Well done, Petri. Just held up his opponent, McIntosh. Now he's going to be free here, Petri. Ten wide. Jones kicks inside 50 wide ball getting there Morrell the West Coast Eagles and the Kangaroos all tied up with 12 minutes remaining in the contest 106 apiece 15 16 106 16 10 106 And it all rests with this man to see if the Kangaroos can grab back the lead. Has had a good battle with Djakovic, who is on the mark. 45 metres from goal. Has kicked two from the 50. It's way right. Might not even score. Still in the field of play. Modlop! Oh, controversy. We'll get a close-up of that shortly. And there's some signs of relief. Crowd. We're so close to our cameraman got the shakes. Yeah, crowd upsetting the camera. Who was that, Dave? <laughs> Ball wide he'll, from the kick-in. He'll kill me for that. Wooden back pocket. Tell you, there's a young kid behind the goal out there that has given the boundary on the goal umpire the rounds of the kitchen. <laughs> I saw him too. It's a fair bit at stake in this match as the emotion of the of the uh, the young man displayed. Green to Gardner oh, to on the outer side, tackled well by Robbins. Umpire said it was a handball. Jart to half forward. Marks taken. McDougal. Good mark from the kid making his debut. Just got to find the right option. Goes wide. Good option too. Judd gets around King. In. Has the chance to put the West Coast Eagles in front. And scores a level again. Just, I mean, he's what a talenter. We, we've sung his uh, praises today. The one area we identified, because everyone looks at those top three draft last year, was that he just didn't hit the ball, the target as good as he should have on occasions. Everything else about him was oh. just brilliant. And so was that grab there by the veteran, Johnny Blakey. Troy Makepeace hasn't had a great game, but his last quarter mm. in the kickouts has been outstanding. Blakey superb then. McIntosh with experience. Almost the equal. Colica, McIntosh. Callum Chambers can't break it free if Petrie is grasped. Modloff over the top as well. And we will get a bounce. Blakey's mark with a couple to beat. And just watch the ball. Now, it's a simple old adage in football. Watch the ball, never take your eyes off it. And John Blakey knew they were bearing down on him. And as simple as it sounds, that's all he did. Game 358 for John Blakey. Superb career. Grant to Simpson. Inside 50. Morell comes in at hard. Slaps it on. Hunter. Somehow oh, to Cousins, who somehow Break breaks free. Break him up. Captain's performance perhaps coming up. Wide ball, getting there, Munro. Got an open ground now, they've got to move it on quickly. From the wing, spearing ball towards half forward in the first gamer again. Andrew McDougall takes the mark. This is where they've been breaking down at half forward because they've been static from these kicks. If he can start winning it, they're going to come right back. Wilson! Geez, they've set it up well in the oh. forward line. Mick's giving him a clip behind the ear on the way through. But they open up the space, but he's, his track record in this match from kicking from 50 uh, hasn't been great. You wouldn't back oh, this one, one. home. Mm. And just accidentally fell on him. <laughs> yeah. He's accidentally stood on him in the mm. third quarter.
He accidentally served. whacked him in the back of the head with the right and accidentally gets him with the left arm yeah. through there. He's accident prone, Mick. He is, but I tell you what, 50 metres wouldn't have been out of order. <laughs> Would have made a certain goal of it. I love him. I reckon he's great. Wilson has three. The West Coast Eagles finals chances might rest on this kick. Wilson has four. Get a fist on that, Mick. Well, as good as the kick of Troy Wilson's was, and it was a terrific kick, you've got to just say well done to Ben Cousins. His uh, yeah. gather in the back 10 metres and then charge up the middle, set it up. McDougall was uh, excellent, but uh, it was Cousins that set it up. Saved it, possible goal, and got a goal. Saving the best till last, perhaps. The Kangaroos and the West Coast turning it on at Marnica. Very much Russian roulette because there's all space at either end. Whoever wins it out should get a clear run to the goal mouth. Dan Kerr wide. A couple of champions, Simpson and Cousins, who wins out. Phil Matera to Braun. 55 out. Runs to 49. High kick to the top of the square. Wilson. Martin. Wilson gets the free. Well, they've kicked the goal, and it'll be allowed. Callum Chambers drives it through for the West Coast, suddenly in the box seat to make the eight. Well, what a finish here for the West Coast Eagles. And that bike, I mean, you've talked about this weekend, Shane Crawford, he's had a, a, a great game Friday night, mm. and people say, does that enhance his Brownlow medal chances? And then they talked yesterday about Luke Darcy. He had another good game yesterday. Has that given him an equally good shot at the Brownlow? But the little bloke out there in the middle who is captain of the West Coast Eagles is just fantastic today, and he is as big a shot as anyone is taking off the Brownlow. The first half of the year or so, 14 weeks, he has been phenomenal, and today he's turned it on again. Mick's been living on the edge, and mm. finally went over. Two goals the margin. You saw the equation, eight minutes remaining. A draw will be enough for the Kangaroos to stop the West Coast from making it the takeaway. Harvey, McIntosh fighting hard, Braun. Harvey, Braun keeps his feet. Goes toward the boundary, brains from Braun, ball out of play. Speaking of Braun and brains, a change in the rucks, Mitho. Yes, Porter off and Burton on going straight down to the goal square. Not sure which was which. Back into play, Petri doing the ruck work. Ball knocked down to Robbins. Oh, High yeah. inside, 50. Morell comes hard. Jackovic just as hard, boundary line. And we'll get a ball in. Well, this is going to really test the resolves of the, the resolve of the Kangaroos now. Hitouts, West Coast Eagles have dominated 48-26 and they've marginally won the takeaways. Kangaroos will be good here and they just look for the quick snap kick for Digby Morrell's got to be in front. Banfield after the knockdown toward the boundary. Harvey. Kerr, Harvey kept it alive nicely. Robbins inside, 50 to Simpson. Ashley McIntosh appealing the hold out there. And what an important kick. Well done by Boomer there, Boomer Harvey. And see McIntosh. Now that's that's all right. Put the hands up there, Drew Petri. To cut the margin back to one straight kick. Simpson from 45. Goal umpire does a lot of work. It's a behind, but two goals would see them in front. And there is time enough for that. 18 minutes on the clock. Final term. Seven left. Long kick in from fullback. Cousins. Jakovic. He'll go again, Cousins. He'll get up to this one in the contest. Blakey takes the mark. Wasn't his best kick then, Glenn Jakovic. He had uh, Callum Chambers running into space and he just elected to go the bomb. Blakey towards half forward. Ruse yeah. with the numbers. Morell. Harvey's won out with pace in the goal square. He's pointed to put it out into the forward 50. Morell centering ball. Good punch by Braun. Motlop Sharks. 50 from goal. Shrugs the tackle. Cochran. Wobbly kick. Full forward. Mark's been taken brilliantly by Hunter. From fullback. Kangaroos doing everything right until they get inside 50. Green. Wide. Cousins and also out there Taylor. Cousins takes it. 
Taylor takes it, I should say. Long towards the wing. Chambers. Inside 50. Oh, Wilson! Oh. Mark of the day! Well, I said he didn't jump all that high, but did he get the sit there? And Mick could do nothing but just trail in behind. I <laughs> still tried to give him one. <laughs> what a grab. Well, if any effort is going to win a game for a team Jeez. and get them a berth in the eight, perhaps something as spectacular as that should be it. Mitho, big change. Yeah, Djakovic has come off, Kolika on. Doesn't seem to be moving all that flash either, Glenn Djakovic. Wilson has four. Make that five. And the West Coast Eagles all of a sudden start to sniff that spring air. Absolutely. Good transfer. You think of the way that both teams have moved the ball forward when they've won it in their back lines. How have they moved the ball forward? Look at the West Coast here. It's get the ball, play on at all costs, and the running midfielders are getting onto the end of it. Kangaroos, it's the way they play. Scrap it, static, grab it, kick it forward, get another contest at the other end. And Dennis is not amused. Yes, his body language says more than we can. Bounce. Cousins, Cousins again. Brilliant second half, brilliant match. Almost Sinclair. Gathered his own crumb. Still a chance the ruse. Five minutes remaining. Out of sight. Kerr. Caught by Robbins. Fights on hard. Make peace. From the wing to half forward. High kick. Banfield has to go. Does go. She's been good in the air in this term, the Eagles. A lot of players uh, have taken important overhead marks. Peter Matera wide. 20 marks to the Eagles this term. Kangaroos 15. Peter Matera still. You can hear the calls from here. Rue. The give and go from Gardner. And the kick to Kolika. Well, Mickey Kolika replaced Djakovic, so he's pushed forward and trying to run his man up the ground. High kick inside, 50. <laughs> Phil Matera tucked into the boundary, just takes it out, but perhaps that's as good an option as any. Kangaroos have broken a record. He's oh, going to get a kick. tackle. A free kick for a tackle, but uh, speaking of tackles, a record now of 71 for the season. The previous record was 69. That's against John Blakey, and I reckon it is for a verbal one here. Watch Blakey. He'll come in on the next shot. He actually doesn't get hit. Big chance for the sealer. He has kicked the sealer with his fifth goal. The West Coast will make the eight. Well, this is devastating news for the... Geelong team who are sitting down in their, I think they're at Peter Riccardi's home down Geelong somewhere, and I'd say they'd just about be opening the fridge by now, Jared. Pull out a couple of sorry cold ones. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a sad day for Geelong, and a long night. They go hand in hand if yeah. you're there in this position. That was against John Blakey. A bit frustrated there, the replay showed it. Got into the umpire's ear. Obviously used the magic. 23-point margin now, under four minutes remaining. Both these teams will play in the finals in 2002. From the ball up, Harding. Take away to half forward. Punch McIntosh, Peter Matera. Started the last term on the bench, has come on with influence. Banfield, Cousins, uses some seconds. Wide, make peace. Robbins, Petri tucked into the boundary, Cousins comes at him, he gains a few metres, ball out of play and that tells the story, Ben Cousins, as you were saying, Jared Healy. Yeah, Ben Cousins uh, has led well, I think Michael Gardner has been outstanding in the second half, mm. had a really ordinary first half and it's the toughest assignment in footy to really have a big second half after you've had a poor start and he's done that and he's turned this result around. Simpson. From 52 to the goal square, Morell gets back, almost, not quite harder. Umpire says play on, Morell, can he dance around if he can? Kicks the goal. Digby Morell has three. <laughs> well, 
Well, they came from 22 points down earlier on in the game, the Kangaroos. The 23-point margin that the West Coast had before Morell's goal was the biggest lead of the game so far. But you would think time their biggest enemy right now. Umpire Andrew Coates entrusted with the bounce. It looks slender, but a lot can happen in three mm. minutes. Maybe not this margin. Ball knocked down towards Cousins. Will he get the all-important takeaway? He does. Style again. Braun to Kerr. Bounces to 40. Drop part is superb. That's it. Yeah. Kerr's Kerr. That'll do it. Kerr has four. The ruck and roving combination, Dermot, has been as good as uh, I've seen for this season, certainly. And it's just been so direct and so often in the second half that it's, uh, it just shows that it could be one of the great combinations between these two players, Gardner and Cousins, uh, in any era. We think back to some of the, the classics in the, the VFL, Farmer and uh, Goggin, Gallagher, Gags Gallagher and Big Nick. And I'm sure there have been many, many more, but uh, these two have just dominated single-handedly. Bounce. It's academic now. He's still going. Robbins. High kick towards half forward from the boot of Sinclair. Petra was there, but Banfield beat them all. Gardner again. Kolika from defensive 50 wide. Maybe too wide. It is. Dig Vimarell. Great battle with Djakovic. High inside 50. The fists come. Harding crumbed it nicely. Just couldn't get a kick away. Still on the ground. It's a handball away. Jones caught by Collica. Banfield caught by Cochran. King catches them all on the wings. Kicks the goal. Get the countdown clock and see how it goes. I reckon they might have just shut the door of the fridge just for a second down Geelong. <laughs> 17 points, <laughs> three quick ones, could they do it? They have to have absolute pure centre bounce takeaways and goal on the burst. West Coast are just two points off their highest score for the season, which was in round seven, 21-13. And the Kangaroos, we'll get a shot of it in a second. The nearest player to goal is 45 metres from the goal square. So they're playing the old Pagans paddock. If they can get quick bounce takeaway, centre break, they'll score it quick. Three goals, two minutes is the equation. Green has it stolen from him. Kerr, well done. He's somehow a found a hole. Crawled through it, might get a stat. Chews up some seconds, kicks it wide. Cousins, he has run some Ks today, Cousins. Simpson. Now Peter Matera, Cousins has spent all his beans. Peter Matera inside, 50 to fill. They argued at quarter time. Yep, well, they seem to have sorted that out. Absolutely. The three of them, Peter Matera, Ben Cousins, who's had 33 possessions, and Daniel Kerr have had 75 midfield possessions between them. And all of them uh, come around a pace factor. And that has hurt the Kangaroos today. Philip Matera. Laid a big fist on the ear of Richard Taylor during the week to show how fair dickum he was. That was a training. He has kicked five goals, Philip Matera, for the afternoon. Oh, mate, that's six. That's awesome. Great return. What a great return in a pseudo-elimination final. They were out. They were gone, the, Kangaroo, the West Coast Eagles, should they not win this one. They've only won one game away from home this season and it was against Carlton who have been well you'd have to say the weakest opposition of the 16 clubs and you would doubt seriously after losing four in a row they could win one away out of their state against a team which really does not lose at this venue this is one of the best home ground venues for the Kangaroos they won five lost one here it's now 5-2 a very a accurate win. and efficient 22-11 bounce just a matter of wrapping the boys up in cotton wool for next week now. Kerr can't get the takeaway. Simpson gets a kick away. Players 
Scramble, Dylan Smith got it from Morell. Petri gone. Caught Harding. Peter Matiris trying just as hard at the end as he was at the start. Ball tied up inside 50. And we will get a bounce. It's just been a great comeback uh, by the West Coast. They were headed after uh, surrendering a lead. And they looked as if they were in awesome trouble because they just weren't capable of going with the, the kangaroos' intensity around the packs. They've equalised that, in fact. They ended up going well ahead in that area. It would be appropriate if Cousins had it on the siren. He gave it away. Petri, high, goal square, make peace. And he will have the last say. He's going to kick the goal here. And that'll bring it back to a 17-point margin. It's a bittersweet goal. It won't bother them. They're going to the finals. Dennis Pagan will be bothered. Peter Material was fantastic today. And as he, as he kicks the goal here... 17 point win to the West Coast Eagles. There's the full score. 17 point win. And Justin leaving you now for our final time for season 2002. Thanks to all our cameramen. Thanks to all the technical support. Thanks for everybody who's been a part of our football coverage, our crew. Thanks to Dwayne, Dennis Cometti, who couldn't be here today, Jared Healy, and Dermot Burton saying thanks for joining us.